here's some sipping ASMR. Well, I'm hard. <laughs> it's another Tuesday. When we're recording this, the Mori episode is out, which yeah. feels weird to just yeah. mention. Right? Yeah, but uh, I, love, NDA. I love how we, they legitimately figured it out like day one. I'm not surprised. <laughs> you made it really obvious. Like on the day. <laughs> they were like, is it, is it, could it be? No, no, no. It, it wasn't that. It was the thread that was like, here's the evidence over like the past few weeks that I've collected. Like, we haven't tried to hide it. Like we made it <laughs> obvious. Were, I, I think I saw three videos. <laughs> you saw three people, videos? Yeah, I saw three videos of people being like, here's what's up in Hololive news. <laughs> the trash taste boys tweeted out a tweet that is exactly the same as Maury Kelly. He sounded exactly like that too. Cause they all, you know, they all sound like that. Oh, wow. Welcome to this episode of Trash Taste. Uh, I'm your host, Sea Dog Monkey. You really, you really slid your way in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm here today with Joey and Gone and I'm tired as fuck. We're just, yeah. we're just back with just the boys now. <laughs> Why are you so tired, Connor? I, I was up all night and then I didn't sleep very well. And I was considering canceling my Japanese lesson because right. I can cancel it online. Mm. Yeah. But if I do it like uh, after 6 p.m. the day before, I don't get my money back. Oh, so, really? So it's like- Wait, do you pay every lesson? It's not like a like a monthly thing. You pay for like tokens. And then <laughs> what? like the tokens you can like redeem. What is this like gotcha currency? No, like, yeah, that's, what, that's, what like, was, that's what I was thinking, right? <laughs> Not everything's fucking gotcha with you guys. <laughs> like, so how do you earn tokens? Can you earn tokens by just going to Pay to, to win school? currency, gone <laughs> called money. I don't know if you've heard of it. Can you it's collect money. them like in game oh, as well? God, or? you guys have been playing gotcha too much. Like, like do you have like dailies for like <laughs> every, every lesson you go to there's like dailies. <laughs> you get like five tokens a day. I'm just gonna ignore, I'm just gonna ignore like that, finally, Connor. I can do my ten pull. No, you, you can you can explain now, Connor. Okay, finally, are the jokes done? Are the yeah. Other- <laughs> you just you pay, and then you get like uh, X amount of lessons with it, but like mm. private lessons cost more. Right. Like class lessons cost X. I'm sure people can figure out which school I'm going to now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, someone already fucking did. Someone like approached me and was really. Like, yeah, they they like I was talking with my teacher because like a common area, uh. and because you get like a ten minute break, and we were talking, and then some guy was like, hey. Are you like the guy on YouTube? And I'm like, <laughs> which guy? <laughs> the guy. <laughs> like, I guess I am. You like, know, yeah, the yeah. white British yeah, I've guy. I've already, already told the story on the podcast though. But yeah, I mean, so yeah, that's it. And I'm tired as fuck because I went to it and I was like, I probably should have canceled and just slept in, but yeah. I didn't. So, yeah, yeah. yeah you knew fun. fully well we we're going to do a podcast episode today. I did, I did, but I've been doing it every week. Before, yeah. A lesson before. I'm, I'm like, I'm like impressed that we've been able to manage like this weekly schedule without taking a single week off since we started. I think, right? I think so. I mean, we've maybe had one off, but other than that, we've been pretty consistent. We've we've, we've had one off simply because one of the cameras broke this one week. That's right. One yeah. of the cameras did yeah. break. Yeah, but yeah. but but to compensate, we did two episodes. One. Yeah. Time. Yeah, because I'm sure it's obvious to the viewers at home, but this setup has all been set up by like I guess us. Mainly me, but uh, Mainly <laughs> yeah. we just chilling. So when like the camera died and I didn't know what I was doing, I was like, "Oh fuck, okay." Um, I guess we're not filming today. Yeah. <laughs> Turned out one of the cameras was broke and we had to get it fixed. Which yeah, is for like, no cool. reason either. Yeah, we yeah. never figured that out. Yeah. But have you guys been up to anything exciting recently? Well, I've got some news. Oh, oh shit! Um, okay, yeah, I've got some news. Um, I just want to say that uh, this might be the last podcast episode that I do. Why? Because uh, if you guys saw on Twitter, I've uh, recently been emailed by a, oh. <laughs> by, you know, you might you might know them. They're called Big Hit Label. <laughs> They're the management of uh, BTS. Oh yeah, I know. I, I actually auditioned myself. Do you yeah. remember? Like, yeah, I remember. <laughs> someone yeah. signed me up as well. But uh, they 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 emailed me, and uh, it was all caps. The title was of the emails all caps. Idol casting. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, oh shit. And then I saw a big hit and I'll read the email to you right now. Okay? Cause, uh, Cause the first time I saw this, uh-huh. I was like, oh my God, is this actually big hit? Cause that'd be crazy. Yeah. But then the fir- <laughs> because it, and, and like, I'll, I'll read it, but like the first half sounds legitimate. It says like, hello, the anime man. We are big hit labels, BTS's management from South Korea. We are very interested in casting you to be a member of the new boy group in the Japanese branch of our company. And this was the moment, the next word I read, I realize, oh, this is all a lie. Bra- Japanese branch of our company, STD. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. We think you'd make oh, a fine- catchy. Yeah, yeah. STD. We think you make a fine visual with your astonishing idol looks, <laughs> or maybe a good leader with your wisdom and old age. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> old age? 
<laughs> all day. <laughs> if you have anyone else in mind who you think would fit, please let us know. And they gave me they gave me a list of requirements that I needed. All right, to, okay. to be a, okay. to be the leader of STD. Walk me Walk okay. Me it. okay, must speak Japanese. Right, Got that covered. Okay. Must be six feet or over. Check. <laughs> must be hot. <laughs> Not sure about that. Well, must be <laughs> and then here's a here's a lovely oxymoron. Must be somewhat feminine. Must be male. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can rock it. Must look good in tight leather pants. <laughs> Hell yeah. Jam, jam. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. And then this last one fucking killed me. Singing and dancing would also be good. <laughs> <laughs> would be good. <laughs> would be good. <laughs> Kindly <laughs> consider off and get back to us when possible. Big okay, hit level. But what if it was a legit big hit and they reached out to you? What would no, you do? because yeah. li- like- well, What if it was? No, what if it was? Like, what if it was? Hypothetically, yeah, hypothetically. Big hits like, Joey, we want you in a band. <laughs> what yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I would 100% say yes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Do you know how much of a fuck- I, 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 I could- Think of the content. Dude, Think of the content. Think I, of the stories we can tell on I Trash be, Taste yeah, Corner. I became a, I became a K-pop <laughs> idol for X amount of time. Uh, how confident are you in the singing and dancing aspect? I mean, dancing, I'm basically a middle-aged white man, so yeah. I can't dance to save my life. I think I'm okay at singing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude, this, could you this, imagine this, STD? That, that would like radiate the same energy as going to your accountant and being like, yeah, do that like tax fraud thing for me. Like, <laughs> save me all the money. Do all the, do what Trump did, dude. Yeah, like that. pretty much. Yeah, pull <laughs> Fix me up like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But someone actually like submitted like an audition with my business email, like legit right, like, to them. Right. And they replied being like, uh, "No, I think it was no, or like to do the next step or something. Mm. Like it was some like verification thing. And I was like, right. yeah. oh, <laughs> thanks. But I've had so many, I've had like every single dating site you can imagine. Right. Like I've yeah. had like singlemuslim.com be signed up for, uh, uh, christianmingle.com. Classy, do um, you get farmers only? I haven't had that. Is that a website? Yeah, Farmers oh Only is like only, you have to own like a certain amount of land to be eligible. <laughs> to I, like seriously? Go on to it. Yeah. You have to own like certain amount you of acres? To, you have to own a certain amount of acres of farmland <laughs> oh to be God. eligible for it. And like, I, I see these and I, I don't think anything about it, but now I remember that I have like an agency looking at our emails. And yeah. that's when I started to get like, kind of worried about it. Yeah. And Maylene the other day goes to me, oh, um, there was a weird email in your email. It apparently you had matched positive for STDs with someone. <laughs> like someone you had slept with had STDs. Right. And I'm like, Melian, it's obviously fake. What, <laughs> if I thought I had an STD, I would go to the fucking doctor, not a, not a website, right? Let, let's just let's just use my work email, yeah. to, <laughs> which I know my agency checks to be like, by the way, let's, let's get an STD check yeah. right now. It's like, how many terrible decisions in a row would I have to make to have that? Like, I would one have to sleep with someone who I would have to be like, well, who knows? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No condom, then go in, think I have an STD immediately after. Not go to the doctor, <laughs> sign up to this website. Hmm, final step, use work email. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, do you ever meet people who are like, man, I just can't seem to get a W and then they just don't, They but they they always just do things that never set it up. To yeah, get yeah, a yeah, w. yeah, yeah. That's the kind of behavior that they do. That they're like, just like, man, I'm just so unlucky in life. And it's like, <laughs> you did drive with no wheels. Yeah. Like, you, you, what did you expect to happen? Like, yeah. I, think just, we, you. I think we all know like one person that, that is like, yeah. like the nicest person ever, but yeah. they just keep doing dumb stuff. Yeah. And you're they like, d- come on, man. I'm like, I'm like, you you have to be like, no one person can take that many L's without actually trying to do so, right? I have a lot of like sweet friends. You just like, come on, man. I want to see you get a W. Yeah. You, keep, you just keep doing it, yeah. man. Stop, yeah. stop, man. Dude, like that that BTS one though, or the, the big hit labels one, like I posted it because I thought it was fucking hilarious, right? Mm-hmm. And it is, but uh, you know, I quickly learned my lesson to uh, well, not you, fuck you, with the K-pop you, you, fans. You felt the wrath of K-pop Twitter. Yeah. Which- Just a Twitter rule. I, I woke <laughs> up in the morning and I saw that the thing had 800 quote retweets and I was like- Oh no. That's never a good sign. Oh no. <laughs> but, Boy, boy's about to get ratioed. <laughs> and I checked it and like a lot of them are just, you know, people just saying, obviously yeah. getting that's a joke, mm. but you know, there's those handful of K-pop stands who were just like, wow, how dare you like stereotype but all I, K-pop I, stars and like- I don't worry about it. It's oh no, no, I thought yeah, they do, but it's like, p- there are some people who are like, oh, he probably photoshopped it just to get attention. I'm like, what? I'm not that fucking desperate for likes on Twitter. <laughs> like, that's got like more creativity than half my videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's the only the reason Photoshop. I posted it because I thought it was fucking hilarious. Like I wouldn't have otherwise. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird that people assume that like, 
that's the kind of content we think we need. Yeah. Like, that's, yeah. Like, that's the amount of steps yeah. that we're jumping through yeah, here. That's, like- that's how desperate I am for Twitter clout. <laughs> yeah. That I have to fake an email. <laughs> the amount of loops you would have to jump through to get to that point, you yeah. know what I mean? Oh my God. You could just say, I like hentai and you get more likes. <laughs> <laughs> so Dude, I tweeted penis and I got like <laughs> more likes. So it's just like fucking whatever. Yeah, Twitter, but- um, Twitter, K-pop yeah. stands, you don't mess with them, Jerry. That's yeah, the universal no. truth. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I knew that from the get go, but I didn't think that would have caused a fucking riot, right? <laughs> I'm just like, can these people not take a joke? <laughs> Clearly not, yeah. anyway. But yeah, moving on. Yeah, moving I on. Uh, so I I see you started Genshin. The other oh day, yeah! Connor, after holding off this entire fucking time and Welcome holding to the crew. and holding off from like me and Joey talking about it like every every I week. I didn't want a fucking sponsor, our fucking podcast to become a sponsor episode you know what I mean? <laughs> for free. If we're gonna talk about Genshin, I want to get fucking paid. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, do you like it though? It's fine. It it feels like Breath of the Wild light. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. It feels like it's diet Breath of the Wild. You, you know how like in Breath of the Wild when you would like think, oh, what if I do this like weird thing, mm, and then yeah. you'd always get rewarded for it. Mm, mm, yeah. In Genshin, I would do that, and I'd be like, oh, there's nothing there. <laughs> really? It's another common chest. Oh well, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't understand what I'm picking up, but because right. because the reason I like Genshin and I've, I, I the reason I like it is that it is very very Breath of the Wild. Oh yeah, that's the best part of the game. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's Breath of the Wild mixed with basically JRPG elements. I'm just but that's like fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I was watching this guy stream. Yeah. Dude, every time Paimon came on screen, he was like, "Shut up!" <laughs> <laughs> there was like oh, there was one point where it was a cutscene. I think like I just like had my mouse to my head and I was just tapping it. Like, yeah. just like, Cause I was so bored. The story is so shit. Not that I would have paid attention anyway, yeah, exactly. but it's like doubly shit. And then some people in my chat were like, why are you skipping the fucking cutscenes?" And I'm like, it's shit, right? And everyone was like, yeah, it's kind of shit. <laughs> and I was like, okay, good. Then I'm skipping them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's like, it's boring. I, I, I don't find any of these characters interesting. Mm. I just, yeah. cause they're all gacha characters and most of them are just, I don't know. Yeah, really I mean, like with the thing with gacha game stories is that they rarely start off good. You know, mm. it's if, if a gacha story gets good, it's normally like way into development where like five chapters in or like five, mm. like when, when they release like their fifth story, um, like story chapter arc. six Ark Knights. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I've heard about chapter six Ark Knights, which is meant to be amazing. And I'm just like, well, I've kind of skipped the entire story up to this point. So I just don't trust anyone. That, like, <laughs> I've read chapter one and that's it. Like after that, I was like, oh, okay. I don't need to know the story to play the game. Yeah, I just don't understand people who like love stories in gacha games. I just, I mean, we've, we've covered this before, but yeah. Have we? I mean, I mean we've, we've covered video story games. in video games. Mm, yeah. But, I mean, they're especially shit in gacha. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like Breath of the Wild, like didn't have much story. And that was like the best part of the game. So yeah, it's like, just yeah, do what you want. Yeah, but yeah. like the reason why people skipped over fucking Breath of the Wild story is because like- I mean, you can't what, skip over anything. What person who doesn't know the story of what, Legend what of is Zelda? The, what is the story of Breath of the Wild? Be Ganon. Oh, like, yeah, 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 you so. just, you just be, be Ganon, Ganon right? Yeah. That's <laughs> nice though. I like that. They kept it simple. Like, yeah. let me do it. I mean, I, I like the fact that you can change characters and there's elemental and the combat's kind of fun. It's, mm. yeah. it's okay. It feels pretty limited, but yeah. I mean, it's fine. I mean, I mean, the reason I thought it was great was because it feels like Genshin is like, kind of kind of feels like a first of its kind, right? Because when you think of gacha games and when you think of like, you know, the whole the whole gacha genre, mm. you you have this uh, you have this image of just like, you know, cheap mobile games mm-hmm. that only hardcore weebs are into. Yeah. And it's been really fucking weird seeing just how much Genshin has blown up. Mm. Yeah. And I feel like I went into Genshin thinking, oh, it's just gonna be kind of like Honkai, but a little bit more polished. and, mm. and and I got completely blown away when I was just like, no, this just feels like a triple A gacha game. It feels mm. like the very, very first triple A gacha game where it's like way more polished than pretty much any of its competition. Like I didn't understand how people liked Fate Go. Like I saw Fate Go, it, it looked- it's, li- it's because of Fate. It, but it looked like a fucking mini clip game. <laughs> the art looked shit. <laughs> and then also the story sounded like a convoluted mess. And then also the gacha rates were abysmal. So because, when I- Because you don't mess, it's like, t- type moon fans like K-pop fans, right? It's like the moment there's anything type moon, they just, okay. they're just like, give it to me. So, so, so there's this thing called like the waifu economy, right? <sighs> <laughs> where it's 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 the value of the waifus and because because type <laughs> moon have such like like because type moon have such a strong brand with fate and all the waifus in it that just makes the waifus and fate worth that much more and people like you you look like you're about to die inside right now 
Gaunt, <laughs> Gaunt's, no. Gaunt's a waifu economist. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's absurd. It's like absurd. But like the, the story in Faco does actually get good, like fucking five chapters in. I can't yeah. remember which chapter Camelot is, but that's when, that's, that's when it gets good. So when, uh, you, when you're playing the gacha games, do you want the characters because you like them or because they'll make you OP? Um, I mean, I mean the, I'm, I'm sure it goes both ways. That's 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 the et- eternal struggle, right? Do you, <laughs> do you go with meta or do you go with waifus? I just want the OP ones. I don't care about <laughs> the characters' looks. Oh, I'm completely the opposite. Because really? like every time I stream Genshin, pe- there are so many fucking backseaters for Genshin. <laughs> there, Holy there, shit. there are two types of people in this world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are so many fucking backseaters for Genshin where yeah. like, I think once I had like, both Chi Chi and Klee in like my party. And people are like, what the fuck? That's like the worst combination. I'm like, I don't give a shit. I like these characters. I just Mm. wanna play as the characters I like. I like these waifus. I I, I honestly think like going with the, just the wife, the good waifus is the way to go because I feel like going into a gacha game wanting to be OP, means that you kind of going into the mentality where you want to like kind of complete the game. It's like no, going I mean, into you, a, it's you, like you go- want to optimize it, right? It's like going into a casino it, 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 expecting you, to be a millionaire. Wait, you know? wait, no, no, no. You, you want to complete the game? Wait, were we not completing the game? Is that not what we're all doing? Am I confused? Like, <laughs> no, I mean, if you want to- com- You don't want to complete the game. No, if, no, 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 it, no, it's not how about- How can you complete like, a gacha game? Do the story. But the story isn't everything in a gacha game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you do the story in Genshin, all right. and then what? Well, then what do you do? You go around exploring the world, or you collect all the characters, or collect all the characters. You mean gamble all your fucking money away? <laughs> like- yes. Welcome to Gutches, Connor. <laughs> I've never That's the whole fucking no, no. point. Once, once you've done all the content in the game, yeah. right? What do you do then? Because wait, like, wait for the next update. But like, okay, that's where like. When uh, Arknights came out, right? Uh. The, the wait between those things was just like a ticking time bomb of like, am I gonna drop this game? Right. Like, because right. That, that wait period is like, how long can I reasonably like keep logging into this? Like, yeah, right. to, the, to the point where I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah. And obviously like a- after X amount of time when you've beaten the game, that's when it's like, okay, I'm done. Like I, I'm, I've played this game. I've got right. my fill. I don't need to spend any more money on this. I'll yeah. play something I, I else. Find it, I find it really funny though, that you're the one who's like, no, I want to finish the story. As someone who <laughs> has no idea what the fuck the story is no, about. I want to do all like the content, all the bosses, like all the, right. the fun aspects. Yeah. And normally, unfortunately, it's tied to the story. Cause, yeah. cause I, I, I remember- but like, Unfortunately, all the boss fights are tied to a story. <laughs> like seeing seeing you enter, like discover Arknights for the first time and seeing you like your first entrance mm. into the world of Gacha, I'm just like, I I see him, I, I just saw you spiraling down into hell. Yeah. Cause I saw you were like, oh man, I want to collect this. I want to level up this character. I want to level up that character. I want to optimize this. And I'm like, oh no, you're mm. going to be spending a lot of money. Well, that was cause like I wanted to, unfortunately with Arknights, there was always be that one stage. Uh, Arknights is like a tower defense kind of game. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> Please sponsor us. <laughs> and um, <laughs> basically there was always, you, no matter how many OP characters you had, there'd always come a stage where you needed like one specific character that had this one niche that you didn't have. Yeah. It was super annoying when it happened. So I just wanted to spec everything and uh, to be prepared for every stage. And then, yeah, uh, yeah I just gave up. And I yeah, which is, which, is, which is what I was saying. Like if you want to complete a gacha, like complete a yeah. gacha game, you're gonna have a bad time because- I felt like I completed Dark Knights. Like I did everything. I mean, there's, there's always doing. new content coming out. Yeah. Like, you, you never there really- is now, and like, the, the only time you can complete a gacha game is when the developers just stop you giving us new shit, content. Yeah. But this right? is the thing, right? If When you have done everything in a game, right? And yeah. then say the next patch is coming out in a month. Mm. Yeah. Like, are you then happy to stop playing that game before the new patches come out next month? Which are is you, which are you is, done? Which is why like, which is why I feel like this is a super interesting conversation because I feel like a lot of people went into Genshin and be, they like, I don't think Genshin even, I don't think even Genshin expected kind of expected the kind of like response that it would have gotten and yeah. how popular it would have gotten because this is like a lot of people's first introduction into gacha games, right? Mm. And there's been like a big controversy with Genshin's stamina system. Uh, when you reach end game, right? When when you kind of complete the story, explore everything. So, so stamina is for running around, swimming and climbing, right? Is no, 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 no. So you haven't used stamina in Genshin yet. Oh, I haven't, oh, okay. No, okay. no, so you, 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 you understand. Okay, so every gacha game has kind of like a stamina system where normally you spend a resource to play some certain aspects of the game, right? Mm-hmm. Genshin to me, I feel like it's, it's, it's super weird, right? Cause you can go, you could play it for like 30, like 30 plus hours and never have to use the stamina system at all. Mm. Whereas whereas with like Ark Knights has sanity, you kind of like, you kind of like, you kind of like reach the stamina cap within like a week of playing it all out, mm. I, I'd say, right? Same thing with like Fate Go. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I can't remember what the stamina system, system in Fate Go is called, but in Genshin, the stamina system is called resin, and you use resin whenever you like go complete a dungeon or don't mm. go like fight some bosses. Mm. Now, when you're in the early game and when you're just exploring the world, you can just not use the stamina system at all because there's so much to do and the world is like, the world's fucking massive, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. The world's absolutely massive um, that you could, spend 30 plus hours exploring the world, doing everything in the world, doing story quests and not have to like focus on grinding and leveling up your characters and doing bosses and everything. But once you reach the end game, once you explored everything, then there is nothing to do but grind it out and, mm. you know, and um, and try to try to, yeah. and just use resin. And the argument is from what I understand, cause I haven't actually reached end game myself is that there is just not enough resin to like, give you meaningful content once you've reached the end of the content. I mean, I, I don't understand people who like just grind, like we'll play a game for hours on end and grind when there's no guarantee that anything's coming. Yeah. Mm. Like that, that's like psychotic to me. Yeah, because I've heard that the best way to like enjoy Genshin from from what I've heard from people who have reached end game already is yeah. that you shouldn't rush through the game. No, you shouldn't. Because getting to end game is actually much quicker than a lot of people expect. Mm, and then yeah. once you hit that point, and once you have to start using the stamina system, then it's like, you're then, really limited to what you can do. Yeah, you're really limited to content. And, and that's why I think it, Genshin is like this super unique, um, super unique uh, example, because most gacha games, it's it's just like a mobile game where mm. you just like, you play, you can play it for like five to 10 minutes a pop sometimes, you know, you, you've already played it for long periods of time. Mm. Whereas with Genshin, because it feels more like a triple A game, people want to play this for hours on end. Mm. And people are coming in expecting this to be like an MMORPG, mm. where you're just like constantly grinding and constantly doing something. And there's mm. just like MMO, infinite MMORPGs. content, right? Mm. I just find MMORPGs so boring <laughs> after like X level, right? When you start grinding. Yeah. I just, yeah. I, I don't know. Like, I think some people can do grinding no problem, but for me, it's like- Well, it's I mean, just, you hate JRPGs, so. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I I just like, I think it's like, why would you just stop me from having fun? Like, <laughs> I don't understand. Some people find grinding really fun. Yeah. I think it's re like relaxing for some yeah, people. I find it relaxing. For me, it's just like, I feel like you're just like, taking the piss out of me. It's like, <laughs> you're just kind of making a mockery of my time here. Like that you're making me do all You're only shit. making me use 1% of my brain. <laughs> Almost, it's like, you know, some, when I used to play RuneScape, like mm. I didn't mind it, but I was also fucking 12 and I was a dumb little <laughs> shit and I wouldn't mind but clicking you, on but I you, literally spent like hours a day clicking trees. Right. I, can't, I can't even believe I did that. But, but were you playing like MMOs by yourself or were you playing it with friends? I had friends as well. Okay. But still, but like- Cause I mean, I couldn't be able to grind like, in an MMO by myself. Like raids look fun in World of Warcraft. Right. Yeah, like when it's like eight people communicating, like that yeah. looks fun, but I also don't want to get there because <laughs> the points are getting there are yeah. insane, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and my, my little brother was addicted to World of Warcraft and he fucking, he couldn't get him off I it. never got into World of Warcraft. I've no, never been into, either. I don't think I've played like a single MMO RPG yeah. um, because like I- Like not even RuneScape? I didn't even play I RuneScape, I fucking loved no. RuneScape. I just spend so many hours on that game. Yeah. I'd, I'd like beg my parents when I was like 14, like, please mother. <laughs> Please pay for membership. It's only five pounds a month. I, <laughs> yeah, see, I couldn't. I, I didn't have the balls to ask my parents to do that. So I that's why like, I was like, no. I think yeah. it was like for my birthday. I was yeah. like, can I have RuneScape <laughs> for a year? <laughs> and they were like, yeah. And obviously, when you were like fourteen, time doesn't go nearly as fast as it does now, right? right? right. Yeah. So I remember like the first month, I played like eight hours a day of RuneScape every day. I was so oh addicted. God. True gaming girl, right here. Yeah, yeah. And then when I got like seventeen, I stopped playing and I. Mm. Gave my account to my little brother because he wanted to play on it for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. like fucking lost all my shit. <laughs> I, I, I remember there was like this thing called like oh fuck it was fuck there was this thing you had to grind for like the specific armor and it took me like months and he lost it like mithril yeah. armor or some shit. I was like was it like called fist of gothics or something? I don't know what it was <laughs> fist called. Fist of gothics. <laughs> it was like this armor where you had to play this like egg game. It was really dumb. I spent like like. I would spend like two weeks straight getting this armor, doing these fucking mini games, and then he lost it, and then I got yeah. it again. Yeah. I came out of retirement from RuneScape just to get came this- came out of retirement. I came out of RuneScape <laughs> retirement just to get this armor again, and he fucking lost it again. And I was like, that's it, I'm done with RuneScape. I'm quitting. You I'm pulled quitting like RuneScape. a Hayao Miyazaki, right? Yeah. He's like, I'm coming out of RuneScape to save this company. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. But I, going back to Gacha, like I'm so, 
quick to drop games mm. because yeah. at the moment the game is boring, even remotely. Like if I have one gaming session where yeah. I'm playing the game and I just didn't have any fun, I'm mm. like, all right, well, I'm done with that game. Yeah. Mm. Somehow League of Legends hasn't done that. I mean, I think it's, it's like hacked my brain. I don't know why. I hate it. I feel, I, I feel like it has hacked your brain in a yeah. certain sense. Cause uh, I don't know, do you enjoy League? Or do you feel like- you, League of Legends, by the way. Yeah, I'm sure of course. Do you, do you actually enjoy League or do you just sometimes play it because it's just like- It's a, a coping mechanism. It's, 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 it's like a familiar kind of like system that you just understand. And- I, I think, I don't know, Jerry probably hasn't had this, but I think when you've played a game like that for so long, there's this kind of like almost autopilot nature to it where like, I'll yeah. see I have like an hour free. Yeah and I'll just click it open, even though every time I know when I click it open, it's a bad idea because yeah. not only one will I probably not have a good game. Mm. Even yeah. if I have a good game, I don't feel good about it. Cause I'm mm. like, well, that was a stomp. That was no fun. Yeah, exactly. And if I lose or have someone inting or on yeah. the Japanese server I've been playing, people just fucking troll so much more. Yeah. yeah. It's so bad. And I'll be like, well, I just wasted 30 <laughs> minutes and now I'm fucking angry. Yeah. And then I know every time I click it open, I'm not gonna, ha it's never gonna be worth it, but sometimes I still do it. Yeah, I so do. It's, because, it's because it's like just habit building. I, right? I, I have played League of Legends, like it's been like my, I'd say my main game yeah. for, God, when did Lucian come out? Like 2014. Jesus Christ, man. Like it's been like six, six, seven years. I've just like, it's been my main, the game that I always just go back to. Yeah. Right. And it used to be really fun. But now it's just like depressing. Like, I, <laughs> and that's why like- It's it's so funny speaking to people who've played League for years, because everyone talks about it like they're a fucking drug addict. Like- It certainly uh, sounds yeah, like, like I, it. I, 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 you know, I just, I want to quit, but I just can't, man. I just can't. I need, and I need just something about effects. me. Just something and about me. Just like, I, I just need to play one more game. Just one more game. <laughs> it, but it, I just can't quit. I can't quit, damn it. It, it, it used to be- uh, like back when I lived in, and uh, when I was in university, it was really easy to just play with people. Mm. And it was pretty fun because I was used to play for the university team as well. Yeah. It was pretty fun actually, I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, but then when I left university, I went to London, I, I wasn't really playing as much with friends. And then since I moved to Japan, it's it's totally like a solo queue thing. Yeah. It just isn't fun. Yeah. Which solo queue is just playing on your own with four other random people and and I don't know why in the Japanese server, it's so bad, dude. Right. It's re it's full of like Chinese Smurfs and Korean Smurfs who want to just fuck around. So, so all so the games then, are horrible. So then have you considered quitting? Stopping? <laughs> It's hard because man. because it's because I know why. It's because there's nothing to replace it. Right? What do you do, right? What do you do when you have like like just one hour free? Just only one hour free. Jack off. <laughs> For one hour? <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll I'll get the job done within that hour, right? And then if Con I have- Connor's like, that's an unoptimized jack off. You can't have that. <laughs> well, you no know, jack off should take more than five minutes. Oh, then yeah, I have but, 55 minutes to oh. do whatever I want, right? But like, okay, no, no, but seriously, like, what, what do you do? Like read a book, watch something? Like, yeah, I don't know, read, what do you a, do? read a book usually. I can't open a book for an hour. I, it's like yeah, a, cause you're fucking monkey brain. It's like an eight hour yeah. thing for me if I open a book. Eight hours? I can, I have to make it a whole day thing if I read. I'm talking, uh, I'm talking about like, like manga yeah, or yeah, like- manga, like, manga. Well, like, I, 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 I actually, I'm actually with like, Connor. If I'm really? reading manga, yeah. it has to be a whole day thing. I can't put it down. Yeah. Like I, I can't- Oh no, I can easily just pick up a volume, read yeah. it, and then that's it. Yeah. Cause I think the problem is, is that League is so easy to just do for 30 minutes without it, 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 engaging. It, it right. just it just engages that monkey brain, that, that fucking lizard brain where you're just like, okay, I'm just clicking yeah. buttons now. And, and I recognize that it invalidates a lot of my points. Like when we talked about fighting games, yeah. that clip of us talking about it and me being like, yeah, fuck yeah. it, you know. That, I got so much shit for that. Because <laughs> one, first of all, they were like, well, Connor's a league player, so it makes so much sense. Yeah. And then the other top comments were like, Connor's just a sore loser. That's why he doesn't like fighting games. I'm like, you don't know a true fucking loss until you played a 40 minute game of league and your team fucking threw it all. This video is sponsored by Honey. Imagine this, you make a list of gifts you're gonna buy for the holidays and then someone randomly gives you the money to help buy one. Sounds good. Well, that's what Honey is doing. They're helping pay for $1 million worth of gifts. $1 million? That's a lot of money. Yes, you're probably wondering, is this the same Honey that automatically searches for promo codes online? I am wondering, is it? Yes, yes it is, Jerry. <laughs> With Honey, you can also make a list of all the holiday gifts you want from certain stores, and Honey will email you when their price drops on anything. Anything? On your list. 
anything. Ooh. Just add Honey to your computer, create a free account, and throw some holiday gifts in your drop list for a chance to win. Honey will randomly select winners and give them the money to help buy something on their list. They basically turn into Santa. I would like a copy of uh, Super Mario uh, All Stars, please, honey. <laughs> That's on my drop list, by the way. <laughs> why, why are you laughing, <laughs> Joe? It's on my drop list. Honey, I want the new Xbox. You know which one. <laughs> Did you know there is no purchase necessary? You need a PayPal account to redeem the price, only valid in the US, and the giveaway ends on the 21st of December, 2020. So go now. You don't even need to be a good boy or good girl to get all the gifts that Honey can give you. Get Honey today for free at joinhoney.com slash trash taste. That's joinhoney.com slash trash taste. Back to the episode. Yeah, there's a lot of people who are saying, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just bad at fighting games and I'm a sore loser. That's why I don't like to do it. And that's so bullshit. If you've ever played League, you know what true fucking pain is like. Right. I would rather lose a two minute fighting game any day of the week than lose one League game. Cause it is fucking brutal. I mean, just from the sounds of it, it just sounds yeah. like a shit experience. Oh, it is. It's terrible. It's then, fucking awful. Then stop. Who knows? No, no because- Just say that to a crack addict, Joey. I will. <laughs> just tell them the it, 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 I it will is. like, you can quit crack, just do League. It, 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 <laughs> is, it is like crack because I will say like the, the honeymoon period of League, like when when you first start learning the game and when you start clicking, it's like it's probably like one of my some of my fondest gaming experiences mm. in my life. When mm. I'm just like, yeah, same, man, this same. is a really really fun game, and it's just like it See, is. I didn't even get to that point. Yeah, because I played one game and then five minutes in, all the comments said called me new fag and they kicked <laughs> me. So uh, so tell me, like, what did you hate about League of Legends? Like, walk me through it. I mean, well, first of all, I don't like MOBAs to begin with. Yeah, I mean, right. there are so like, taste. yeah, so yeah, so I, that, there was that, and then just again, like, just from what I've seen and from what I've heard from a distance, the league community just looks like a bunch of fucking cocks. <laughs> Like, it's like, it's like, it's it's like- What do you mean by a bunch of cops? Like, it, like they just, you know, I've I've never, I've, I've always hated using the word gatekeeping. Yeah. yeah. But my God, league players are like the crowns of gatekeeping. Like mm. you say anything bad about the game, you, you try and, you know, get into it, like with no experience or like no knowledge of the game mm. whatsoever. Yeah. Most communities will, you know, at least a few of them will be like, hey, you trying to get into our game? Welcome, we'll, 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 we'll invite you with open arms. But yeah. if you suck at the game, then that's your responsibility, right? And I'm like, all right, fair enough. Yeah. But meanwhile, League is like, you're not a fucking god at this game from five minutes in, then you're a fucking new fag, get out. <laughs> it's, it's that's, That was my experience with I League. I mean, League definitely has one of the most toxic communities. Yeah. And, yeah, I, like, I, 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 I actively tell people like, just don't get into League. Like, yeah. it's, it's not like, and I'm like I, it's not rewarding. Yeah, and I'm like, I, I already can't deal with fucking toxic communities to no. begin with. Right? Yeah. Like I said, I don't so really mind like, that much. Like. Oh, I kind of like that aspect of games. I've been on the internet for too long. I don't want to deal with that shit anymore. Like, Connor's like a toxic gamer. Yeah. <laughs> I have to deal with the anime community, right? Like let alone the league community. I don't know. What, what do you think about the argument that like a lot of people get really upset with the idea of like trash talking video games online. Like, what do you think about that? I think if it's done tastefully, I don't really mind. Yeah, like whenever I see you trash talking like the fighting game community, I'm mm -hmm. like, that, that's that's just fun. You know yeah, it's I mean? hilarious. Yeah, yeah, it's kind yeah. of, it's kind of sad because I feel like in League of Legends, not, I mean, it's obviously there are some people who say some fucking abhorrent stuff. Yeah. yeah. But like, I think just, you know, sp like, fucking telling the other team they're bad and stuff is funny as hell. Like, oh I yeah, yeah, that. exactly, <laughs> exactly. If it's done tastefully, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And which is, there's many ways to do that. I mean, as long, yeah, as, but, just, but like, as, long as you're not like attacking someone personally, yeah, I, I, yeah. Like, I think it's like, I'm all game for it. Like if someone, if I do a terrible like job in a League of Legends game, yeah. I just completely yeah. fuck something up. I fucking hope they type in the all, all chat to me saying like, yeah. lol or something. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah, because, yeah. because that's funny to me. Like yeah, I want yeah. that. Because you do the same, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah. But if it gets to like, you know, some racial xenophobic shit then I'm just oh, like, all right, up. yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously I think I think there's a draw on the line, but obviously kind of feels like, especially in league that they've like kind of like cracked down on anything like that. Right. But I feel like they had to because it, yeah, it was so it was far removed from what was acceptable that yeah. you're like, you, you, you go into like a normal game yeah. and people were still toxic as fuck, even though it's a fucking normal game. Well, the, the problem was is that they never enforced any of the rules for so long. So it just kept escalating. Yeah. I reckon if they enforced like the actual rules from the beginning, it wouldn't have been so bad. Right. I mean, yeah. It's but I feel like this is like the same cycle for every competitive game. Exactly. You know what I mean? Without exception. I mean, you look at something uh, yeah, like- Yeah, I played Overwatch as yeah, well. Yeah, you look at was, Overwatch. And in like the, the, first, the first few months, great. Everyone had fucking fun. Everyone was just learning the game. And then like, it's, it's, it's the problem of like, 
when you've played in the, played the game enough, you, you don't play it because it's fun. You play yeah. it because, like you said, it's just something to do. And then out from the shadows arose the tryhards. You know? <laughs> dude, I, I, can, I had some of the worst experiences of my life on Overwatch. Dude. Did you actually? Because League of Legends, right? It's bad, right? right? It's bad. It's it's You see them vile as shit, but at least yeah. there's no voice chat. Right. <laughs> in Overwatch, you're automatically put in like voice chat with right. your team. Yeah. That sounds horrible. Well, okay, sometimes you'd have like the funniest moments ever. Like right. you would meet the coolest people. And it was like, you'd always have to remember that whenever you got like the 10 games in a row of like fucking kids and shit. Right, yeah. right. Because like as well, the worst part is in Overwatch, when I used to play it, they implemented a system now where you can queue up for a role. Mm. But it used to be six of you get put in, you all might be six tank mains. You all mm. might be six uh, like DPS mains. Yeah. And like, so you just stop fucking bickering immediately right. yeah. over who gets what. Yeah. And that's why I always just play fill in games. Like I'll just do whatever. Cause I'm like, ah, I don't fucking care. Like don't, don't shout at me. Let's right, just do right. it, man. Yeah. But man, people would like say horrible <laughs> shit on that. Like always yeah. 12 year olds as well. I mean, yeah. because once you, <clears throat> once you, you know, once you play it enough hours, then you reach this point where you're like, okay, I got to play ranked because otherwise playing this game is kind of like meaningless in a sense, right? I hate playing normal games of like competitive games. Yeah, but when that, but then when once you start getting on the ranks ladder is when I find it, it stops getting fun because then you reach, mm. everyone reaches a wall. Doesn't matter who you are. Everyone will reach a wall eventually. And once you reach that wall, you just feel like you stop progressing unless you put like so many hours into learning this game and trying to better yourself. And that, and, and that, uh, and at that point, I understand why people get toxic and angry Yeah, because then the weight, they're like too invested into like, making that like climbing up the ranks ladder and everything. So they feel like they need this to feel like they they haven't wasted their time, which you, let's you, be honest, unless you're a pro gamer, you probably are wasting your time with it. You know you what know? it might be? I think it's just the simple thing that I'm just not into P PVP with random people. Really? I think that's all it is. Like I'm thinking about it now. I'm like, I've never enjoyed just PVP games to begin with. Mm -hmm. Maybe for the exception of like some fighting games, but mm -hmm. only if I'm like playing it with friends, I know, yeah. right? So like I'll play like a game of Smash or like Street Fighter or Tekken or whatever. If I'm sitting in the same room with you and we're just like having a fun fucking time, right? Mm -hmm. But I think just the whole idea of PVP against randos on the internet who I don't know or care about. I think that's just the one thing I fucking hate in gaming. I've gone laughing. I, I just I just have this like image of Joey being like, I, I, I have fun with I have fun with friends. And then I think like the angriest I've ever seen Joey is when when you're playing against Connor and he was like spamming King K rule at your house and I'm just like no, but but that's the thing, right? But that's the thing. It's that I'm okay with getting angry in situations like that because I know Connor, right? And he's there in front of me, right? Like so like like that's just fun times, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I was pissed off that you were yeah, Joey, spamming Joey, fucking Joey. counter with King K. Roll every fucking match. Joey gets very, very angry when he loses in the smash. Yeah, <laughs> but, that's a, but that's what I'm saying though, right? Yeah. It's like, I already don't like PVP games as it is. Like I'm not a huge fan of PVP as it is because I get angry easily, but especially when it's against people I can't see or I've never heard of, never talked to, just yeah. don't know. Yeah, That that anger, I think, yeah, that, that just like, the enjoyment is just completely gone. Yeah, I remember you were like, yeah, man, I'm the, no one's beat me in Mario Kart ever. Like Joey's like- I did not say that. <laughs> you, were, liar. you were like, you were like, I never lose in Mario Kart. Dude, the absolute slander. <laughs> <man. That's laughs> right. I did not say that. It was like fake news. It was some fake news. It was news. something along those lines. You were like, I never lose in Mario Kart. And then I was like, bet. <laughs> and then like Joey would be would be all his friends and yeah. I would just fucking crush Joey. Would... Okay, crush is a strong word. <laughs> <laughs> but in, the, in recent times we've been playing and it's been pretty 50-50. But yeah. yeah, when it was like, which, which one was it? It's probably when Deluxe came out, the new <sighs> Mario Kart 8. I was fucking killing yeah, Joey. Yeah, I think so. And I uh, had like, made like e uh, crank gameplays, Ethan, have like a fucking breakdown. <laughs> Do you remember that? We did like a stream where we oh, we kept playing Mario Kart. I only played Baby Park for like five hours. Until until Ethan could beat me. And we must have played it, yeah, for like five hours until I until he managed to we beat me. Like, we did like 150 fucking <laughs> We did, we did, we did like, Baby Park 150 times on stream. Just, we were like, all right, let's like, after like race 20, we were like, all right, if Ethan beats Connor in one race, then we'll right. end this stream. Yeah. And, and then that was also earlier on that they, they thought I was cheating or something. Yeah, so they, Doom, yeah, Doom was like, he's got a modded switch or something. Like he's, he's winning too many yeah. times. So they made us all change to the same character and the same <laughs> car and everything. Right. Like, so that, that there was no no cheating yeah, at all. Like yeah, we're yeah, always yeah, in yeah. the same thing. And he was like, how are you still beating me every time? 
It was so funny. See, like but a, like that that's like those kinds of like competitive games no. I fucking love, right? Like I I don't know, I don't want to say the word party games, right? But like I mean they are party. I mean they are party games. Like that's why I fucking love about party games is mm -hmm. that yeah, you'll get people who are fucking salty and it is PVP technically. But at the end of the day, it's fucking whatever. It's a fucking Mario Kart game, right? What do you think about people throwing their controllers, Jerry? Huh? What do you think about people throwing controllers? I mean, I've done it before as well. So actually, <laughs> actually, yeah, I've done it in Smash, remember? I mean, did you really? Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's so cringe. <laughs> yeah, no matter how angry I get, I'll be like, but not you. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> I, 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 okay, to be fair, I only did it once. Oh, you should have expensive fucking Joy Cons. Oh, I ain't throwing those things. Man. Oh no, no, no! I, I threw like the really cheap shit, like GameCube controller, oh, the, which like, is like fifteen one? bucks. Oh, it's like the okay. budget one. It's like even if I break this, I can buy another one. It's fine. But the, the like that pro YouTuber, control, that YouTuber <laughs> yeah. money, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pro controller, I would never. <laughs> and that's it's too much of an expense. Like oh my god, seeing like Smash compilations of like people just. Absolutely just chucking their controllers. I, I do oh love God. watching Smash Tournament rage moments. Oh, it is Very so fun. funny. Fun. I'm like, dude, it's a party game. Like, just chill. Yeah, but like, I was about to ask, what do you think about party games? I mean, do you see Smash as a party game? Yeah. What, I mean, what, what, I mean, what? Bro, you're gonna piss so many people <laughs> off. Bro. Dude, Sakurai himself said it was a party game. So it's a fucking party game, all right? <laughs> it's a party game that can be played. It's a party yeah, game that is, can also be competitive. Imagine like musical chairs if there was a pro league. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> If, I, mean, I can't good. wait for the salt in the comments, man. I cannot wait for the salt in the comments. I mean, look, it's like, I, I look, it's not, I'm not saying that, you know, Smash is not a competitive game. Like it absolutely is. I fucking love watching the competitive scene of Smash Bros. Yeah. But, but it's a competitive game that can also be a party game. You know, like again, like if you said, for example, right? If fucking Mario Kart had like a pro league, then yeah, it could probably be a competitive game. But it doesn't. Why doesn't it though? Why? Why? Okay. Here's here's why I don't, I've never understood. Why does? Why? How did Smash get so competitive as opposed to basically like every other Nintendo oh, game? I, I think because a lot of them are like too random. Like Mario yeah. Kart has way too many random aspects. But right. I think like that's why like Smash, like Smash competitive is like no items, Final Destination yeah. only. Yeah, I mean, right? that's like, they, they literally nuke all the randomization. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. So even the stages they can't move. Right, like they. Yeah. Use the so base. the only like I think the only way that something like Mario Kart could ever be competitive is if it's, it's just the no same items. course, no items. <laughs> And everyone's baby in, part. Yeah, that same be, course, no that items. Be, everyone's so everyone's fun. in the same character with the same card. That'd be so fucking boring. Yeah, man. and that's the only yeah. reason why, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, but like again, like you know, I'm sure there's lots of party games out there that could very easily be considered competitive games. Like that, what? Well, Guitar just, Hero. Yeah. I mean, that's just the way, that's just going into rhythm games, right? Yeah. There, there was there was actually competitive. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's why I rhythm thought Rhythm games that. could very easily be competitive games, but they're not because there's like no real league for it. But I, I reckon the only reason why Smash became a competitive game is because of all the fucking Street Fighter games. From yeah, the I, I feel like also it's it's just a nice spectator sport as well. Yeah. Cause I feel like with, with competitive, with competitive games, if there's gonna be a league for it, it's gotta be interesting to watch, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's why league is the biggest esport because I, while I hardly ever play league anymore, I still fucking watch it every year because mm. it is a really fun game to watch yeah, as opposed because to- Because there's so much going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And it's it, it feels like it was, it feels like it's a game that's designed to also be viewed as well yeah. from a third person, from a third person perspective. I mean, I used to, when the Overwatch was doing the pro league, my friends used to watch it, but I used to watch it and I'm like, what the fuck is this? I play this game and there's way too much going on. The yeah. commentators can't possibly describe what's going on because all the action happens so fast and it's six different people doing six different things. Whereas yeah. in a league, it's normally, if it's a team fight, it's still like, you can still tell people what's going on. Mm. Yeah, because it's because, it's because of the top uh, down top view, down well, view yeah. as opposed to Overwatch, which is like, First person, so it's you're getting nauseating because yeah. like you'd fucking be following Tracer. Tracer zooms back, and then they're switching to the next guy and switching again. It's like, bro, just I, fuck me. Like, and <laughs> also, I feel that because of the length of League, it's something you can sit down and enjoy. And like, I think the one reason I've really gotten into fighting games is that normally when I'm watching, I mean esports. This is what I'm saying. Mm. Yeah, when I'm watching the esports. Uh, I normally only watch like the finals because I can kind of follow what's going on. It's like the semis, then the finals. And it's, it's really easy to follow along. But mm, yeah. when the group stages are going on, it's like, all right, who's this guy? And by the time I'm finished Googling him, the next guy's on <laughs> fighting. And I'm like, all right, well, okay, um, who's this guy? And then the fight, maybe I wanted to watch is over in three minutes. And it's like, okay, well, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I guess all the fights are over. Okay, shit. Like right. league is quite a long thing and they've got a mm. really good system with the league. 
where it plays like what like two there's like every league plays every day now like yeah it like alternates on on season mm. i mean it's, it's crazy they've it's, got, it's, they've got it's, set up literally like a football yeah like, it's it's, yeah. it's way it's way it's way more like just a football you know like a traditional sports now yeah. where you can like kind of like jump in and jump out and see familiar faces and kind of like familiar brands every time mm. yeah. and I, I feel like that's kind of helped it's like the esports scene in league is just it just seems to keep growing every year which is fucking insane to me that it's like fucking 10 11 years old now how old is league 10 yeah and it's still like growing each year internationally mm. which shows the esports is that yeah the yeah. esports yeah. is which which shows the power but like talk, like i enjoy watching fighting games yeah, as well too. like i like the only but the only time i ever get into it is during like evo or like the big kind yeah of true, true. Right, whenever right. it's like oh why is there a million views on twitch oh it's evo mm. okay. <laughs> yeah like I, I don't go around like fucking looking for like you know local cons doing you know, smash tournaments. Like mm -hmm. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna watch those live, but <laughs> you know, but yeah, like Evo and fucking, you know, those big smash tournaments are fucking mm. fun to watch. The sponsor of today's video is EJ Anime Store. It's EJ Anime Store is an online merch store that is run directly by Katakawa. Once again, they brought us an assortment of special oh, figure look sets. Look at this shit, look at this. You can't get these outside of Japan because they can only be purchased at EJ Anime Store. Tell the us what we got today, Connor. Um, so we have <laughs> Was this your first rodeo or something? <laughs> like, come on, bro. <laughs> I just didn't hear what EJ stood for. I just kind of didn't know what to- I'll tell know. you, I'll tell you. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes. Entertainment, <laughs> Japan. Okay. This in the middle wearing the wedding dress, I assume is the Tiger Isaka wedding version from Toradora. I can't see the face. I love Toradora. Very nice. Celebrating the 15th anniversary of Toradora light novel Jesus, series. That's we bring terrifying. you the main heroine, Tiger Isaka, dressed in a beautiful white wedding dress. Not only that, but this special set includes an original F3 size canvas art signed get, get. by the author of the original light novel series, Takemiya Yuko, get as an exclusive get. bonus. Out of here, yeah. Joey, that is a deal. Additionally, the figure also includes extra exchangeable face parts showing Tiger's loving gaze and an original illustration with a signature board signed by the original illustrator, Yasu, as a bonus. That's pretty freaking epic. <laughs> Dude. But I'll tell you one thing that I'm genuinely excited about. No it's the Slayers. Get set. out of here, Jim. I Get fucking out of love here. Slayers, dude. Oh I can't believe we are celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Slayers light novel. Okay, to be actually honest with you, I can't fucking believe it's 30 years. I know, old. right? I know. <laughs> cause I cause I grew up reading Slayers and I'm like, man, this is such a new show. And I realized <laughs> it started before I was born. <laughs> but we have the liner inverse kimono version, uh, which is again, celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Slayers light novel series. And this special set includes a B2 tapestry of the originally created illustration that inspired this figure as an exclusive bonus, as you can see right here. Look at that. It looks very nice. And then we also got the uh, Kimi to Boku no Saigo no Senju Arui wa Sekai ga Hajimaru Seisen. And that was a fucking- Or oh, Kimi Sen. <laughs> <laughs> did, you just, did you just name a town in Wales? <laughs> so this is the Alice Lise original dress version. And finally, we have the Data Live 3 Toka Yatogami Chinese style dress version. You nailed that pronunciation, yeah. Joey. God damn, dude. I, I, <laughs> would, you, would you believe me if I told you that <laughs> I, I, I know Japanese? <laughs> if you liked any of these figures, be sure to go and check them out at ejanimestore.com or click the link in the description down below. They're adding new stuff on a regular basis. So stay tuned to their updates and look them up on Twitter and Facebook. Back to the video. As the host of this episode. <laughs> why are you laughing? I'm the host, Joey. Come on. Was, was what does it feel like? What does it feel like? Host. Power as the power. <laughs> um, I guess, are we anime podcast? <laughs> wow. I was wondering this what a yesterday. Question. I was wondering this yesterday. I was like, like I, I see people on Twitter or Reddit, they talk about like, oh man, like uh, I like it when they talk about anime. I don't like it when they talk about anime. And I guess it's weird. Cause I guess when we started, it was like, mm. I guess we said we were the anime podcast. Well, our but, channel bio, I think is a terrible anime does podcast. It? Yeah. yeah. If you I go mean, on our about section, that's what it says. I always never give a fuck that much about anime. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. just come out and say yeah. it. No, I, I, I always had a genuine question for you, which is, do you see yourself as an anime YouTuber? I, I, the thing is, I think because I see myself in the same like realm yeah. with like those people. Well, cause you hang out with us, right? I'm hanging out with you guys. I watch a lot of anime. I make it, I think because I make so many anime references and it's so much like anime and like yeah. I guess otaku culture mm. in my videos, I guess I do, but not in the traditional sense, like, cause I don't make videos about anime, but yeah. But that's the thing, right? It's like nowadays you make any content that's like, even if you make content, that's just like general otaku shit, like mm. you or Aki. Yeah. 
just because like, I think otaku just equals anime now. Well, I think the type of people who watch my stuff are people who consume anime. Right, yeah. right, right, right. But I'm not necessarily talking about anime. I don't know, it, it's, um, we- it's weird, right? Because I've, I've, I've been like, as the OG anime YouTuber, it's yeah. so weird seeing anime content on YouTube nowadays. And this is just me thinking out loud, but mm. do people even want to see as much like anime content as much anymore? And cause I feel like it's been really weird mm. seeing content on anime content on YouTube in 2020, where it feels like anime content doesn't even perform that amazingly anymore yeah. compared to doing yeah. like, compared to doing like anime themed content, as opposed to, I am going to make yeah. content on a certain show. It's it's otaku yeah. content now. Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. Does yeah. Best, well, I, mean, yeah. I, I mean, when we started the podcast, I was kind of worried. I was like, fuck, are they gonna like want to talk about anime every week? Like, cause, <laughs> cause I, I can't talk about anime. I mean, that's, I mean is, that is, Technically speaking, that is what we sought out to do. Yeah, because right? I remember yeah. when we were discussing it, I, I remember in my head, I'm like, I'm just gonna like bring up other stuff. And like, <laughs> we'll just see how it does, right? Like, well, it's, it's so I could have backfired so much. Right, it's it's right, funny right, because right. the only, the, the time I talked about anime most is on the podcast with you guys, right? <laughs> Rarely do we actually talk about anime off screen. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. I feel like there's more people, like, I guess if you want to get into it, like more people way qualified than us to talk about it. Yeah. Who, like are just consuming anime. All yeah. they do is talk about anime. Yeah. but. I also, in my opinion, like when I do want to consume stuff about anime, I often don't want that kind of person who's just like, all they do is anime. I kind of mm, want just yeah. like a monkey brain person kind of opinion. Like a, like a, like a, like a personality who also I, I just want some, right? yeah, which is why like, I think the only anime reviews I still watch, which is fucking weird to say, is like, I watch critical yeah. Yeah. reviews. Because I know that I, when I'm getting that, I'm getting well, a review from that's someone. All, that's also like someone like critical can pretty much just do content on anything. But I, I think because I've, been on YouTube for so long and I've been as throughout all of my anime watching lifespan, if you will. Yeah. Whenever I wanted to see if I wanted to watch a show, I would just go and watch a review from someone who all they do is talk about anime, all they do is consume anime or type mm, of culture. Yeah. And it's just really refreshing to now go and watch someone who doesn't really care that much about anime, but they do like it a lot. Like it's not yeah. their entire life. Right, right. like it's just yeah. like, I'm a normal guy, I do things, mm. but I also watch a lot of anime. Mm. Yeah, I, I feel like that attitude really reflects on how, you know, how anime content performs on YouTube as well. It's because, I feel like if you only do anime content and you like, you like only, I feel like because anime has gotten so much more mainstream in the past few years, yeah. it's it's not so much about being an anime fan. You know what I mean? Like there, there are definitely channels that, you know, I'm, I'm probably like one of the biggest where you focus solely on anime, but I right. feel like there, you, you hit a ceiling, right? You hit, you hit the ceiling of, okay, if you only, if you only target yourself towards anime fans, that community now is so only so big, mm. but anime as a medium, is actually bigger oh, than huge, yeah. than just the anime like the anime community because like yeah. you can be you can be like a true like anime fan follow seasonal anime and everything like that but then there's like a way bigger community that knows about anime and you know watches the odd anime show but they also don't have as much of a vested interest are you, are you talking about normies guys <laughs> It's, 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 Maybe it's, I am talking about yeah. normies. <laughs> like they don't have a vested interest or they're not as invested. I basically could have summed it up. I like watching normie reviews. It's, it's, the I difference, have said that. it's the difference between anime fans and people who are fans of anime. I, I feel there's like a big difference, right? Cause like an anime fan is like someone where it's like, anime is their life. Like they love everything about right. it. They'll watch anything. They'll, you know, dedicate their life to it. And then there are fans of anime where no, it's no, like- no. I, Actually, I got the perfect word what? for this. <laughs> there are anime fans yeah. and then there are weebs. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, so you're fucking right. proud of that. <laughs> I'm just you're like, right. I figured it out. I figured <laughs> out right. the system. You got it, you got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So just disregard everything I just said. <laughs> no, because someone is like, because uh, as you were saying- oh, that, I, was, I also want to say that like, we, we, we like weebs. <laughs> we're, we're weebs. Yeah, we, we, yeah. we are weebs. That's, that's why Before, I was, like, cause, cause like, I, I was thinking to myself, like what differentiates someone someone like Critical right. from someone like in the anime community? Because mm. I'm, I, it, it made me think, Remember the good old days of gatekeeping and be- You mean, be, 20, be, you mean 2020? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like the, the old days where like, you're not a true anime fan unless you've watched XXX show. 
Yeah. Like, oh, you're an anime fan? Name me 20 yeah. different shows that you're aren't You're an anime fan? Link me on my anime <laughs> yeah, list. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Name every anime. Yeah. Oh, wait, Joey's done. Yeah, that. I've done that. <laughs> but like, I, I'm, I'm like, it's it's good that nowadays, I feel like gatekeeping, especially in the anime community, is like, it's not died, but it's mm. definitely way less than it used to be. But I feel like someone like Critical, I, I feel like he has watched a lot of anime, mm, right? Mm. Hey, and, and he does, Definitely, I think he actually watches more anime than me. Yeah, like, I, I, yeah I think he does honestly, as well. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think he does as well. But I don't know. Like you, you look at Critical, and you're like, you're not a weeb. You know what I mean? Mm. You're just you're just just a normal anime fan. You know, yeah, Felix was like that too. Like at one point, he was doing a bunch of like anime reviews, and he was doing a lot of videos on anime. And I'm just like, okay, I I, I can tell like you like anime, but obviously your entire life is not anime. Right, and I think that's why people really liked his reviews. Right, yeah, it felt like a very honest. It felt like very, new. It, it was like a, a new. It was a. Fr it was a new perspective of yeah. opinions on certain shows. Because right? I feel like when maybe you're an anime YouTuber, uh, when you're reviewing an anime, it's like I'm reviewing it because it's an anime. Whereas I feel like, like if you know, Critical or PewDiePie or any any other person makes a review who doesn't talk about anime content, mm. yeah. it feels like they have something to say because yeah. they've gone out of their way to make a video about something they normally wouldn't make a video about. Right. to talk yeah. about it. Whereas you know. Gone talking about Attack on Titan season four. Of course, Gone's going to talk about Attack on Titan season. You know what I mean? Like it's expected, and it's because like, he wants those views, right? But if, but if, yeah, but obviously, I mean, but if someone else does it right, it's like, oh, they must really like be passionate about yeah, what they're trying to yeah. convey here. And mm, I think that's yeah. something that's really refreshing, and that's something that I, I, maybe this is again, this could be from being a YouTuber myself, mm. right? And I can understand the thought process of why they're talking about it. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I, I guess, and that's why. I think I've distanced myself from anime in a, in some aspects. It's, like, and, yeah, and, and it's haven't. like, and it's like not to undermine the passion of actual anime fans, right? Like, you know, I'm sure there's. A, oh, a, I still fucking love the yeah, culture I'm, of I'm anime. Sure like, yeah, a, I'm yeah. sure there's a massive amount of like hardcore anime yeah. fans who will make Attack on Titan videos because they oh, yeah. genuinely oh, love course, the show. Of course, of course, right? of course. Yeah, yeah sorry. But yeah, I'm not I'm not trying to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, 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 of course, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, no, no, I, I I get what you're saying. It's like when you do see that anime review from someone who yeah, you, do you don't yeah. expect yeah. an anime review from. Yeah. It's you, just you, like, ooh, okay. Cause, cause like l looking on the internet now, there's like so many, so many low key anime fans that, you know, that's- They're just like, like suddenly coming out of the woodwork. Yeah, right? It's like, it's, it's like, yeah, it's, I've always been an anime yeah, fan. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, sometimes you see these little hints every now and, the, now and again, yeah. where it's like this completely normal YouTuber that you don't expect to watch anime and then like make a very subtle anime reference. And you're just like, wait, are you a weeb? Do you have something to say? <laughs> That's why I always get like scared and surprised when a YouTuber who I thought had nothing to do with anime like yeah. follows me on Twitter. I'm like, something's up. <laughs> something's up. Just, you, do, they, they, do you perhaps like anime? Or, or maybe they've just seen like, wow, this guy likes a lot of porn that I like. Yeah. Maybe I should follow him back. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I remember I was watching like one of the latest internet historian videos like mm -hmm. a few weeks ago, mm. and then he, like you know it was it was a very normal internet historian vid uh, video. And then right at the end, he he was like giving some shout outs to like his other social medias, and then he mentioned like streaming and everything, mm. and then he showed a clip of Corona, and I'm just like, where where did where did, where did this come serious? from? Yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> Yo. It's like right. It's like right at the end as well. So it's 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 at the point where most people click off. Good taste. Good yeah. taste. So I'm like, are you, are you a cultured individual oh too? God, Would you like to come onto the podcast and talk about the goddess that is Corona? Oh my god. Because <laughs> I'd be down. Yeah, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's just it's fascinating to watch, especially I, I'd say in like the last two yeah. three years of just all these people just suddenly coming out, you know, saying- yeah, How do you feel about, how do you feel about anime being like way more How do I feel about it going mainstream? Yeah, normalized. <laughs> I, I, was, I was trying to think of the right word because is it mainstream yet? Do I we... mean, that's the eternal debate, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's like, is it truly mainstream yet? I don't think so. I, I, it depends on your definition of mainstream, right? I mean, it's not like everyone's talking about it 24 seven, but no. is everyone, you know, I mean, people uh, argued that, like, you know, oh, Demon Slayer was trending on Twitter, right? It must have gone mainstream. And I'm like, I don't think it's mainstream yet. I think it's like about three, four years away from like properly being mainstream. I'd say. I don't know. I feel like every time there's a big show, it helps a lot. Yeah, exactly. it's certainly on its way. I mean, Attack on Titan season four will hopefully help a lot in yeah. terms of like, hey, here is a completed masterpiece. Hopefully, I mean I, the the amount of money that the fucking Demon Slayer movie made in like the first like two weeks of it coming out. Yeah. Was, I mean, like, it's still like dwarf nuts. numbers compared to like proper you know, proper like giant like blockbuster. Giant I mean, block it was 45, oh, yeah. 45 million dollars yeah. the first weekend, which is amazing. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, 
like, fuck, Avengers got, like, a billion in, like, the first week or something ridiculous. <laughs> Which is obviously, like, you know, not yeah. a huge comparison. But then yeah. again, if I heard Robert Downey Jr.'s voice in Demon Slayer, it would probably get more, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and again, it, it is Japan, so it's kind of a, a very isolated market. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to say, like, how well it would do. Yeah, yeah that's that's why I say that it's still, like, a few years from being, like, properly mainstream. But mm. at this point, it's not, like, anime itself isn't mainstream, but at least pretty much everyone knows what anime is now. It's yeah. it's 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 accepted yeah. worldwide. There's, there's never yeah. this debate of, you mention an anime and people are like, what what the, f what language what is an about? anime? What well, is an anime? It's weird because <laughs> I think that, you know, there's 40, 50 year olds online who you talk to who get all the anime references and, and keep up with it. But then I've yeah. got 25 year old friends in the UK who are like, what's that? Like, what's yeah. a death note? What's that? What's a death note? <laughs> no, legit, like, so it's, 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 I think we, we almost get our like perceptions skewed a little, especially ours, because we are surrounded by like like minded individuals to an extent. Yeah. We're surrounded by people online. And yeah. We never interact with people really outside of the online yeah, bubble. And even, even when we leave our house, right, we're normally going to an event with yeah. other online people, people who work in the same industry, right? But yeah. when I go back to the UK or I go back to Wales and I talk to my friends, they literally have like no fucking clue about right. like any anime. Maybe they'll be like, what's that uh, uh, um, that one punch man or something, you know? But like, the fact that they've heard about that is yeah, yeah. fucking they might, massive. They might, but they're my yeah. age. I would expect them to be like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> the 24, you should like, know what Death yeah. Note is, come on. Yeah, I mean like with titles like that, as long as you're on the internet, it's pretty fucking hard to avoid, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I but mean, like, it's, it's weird because like, when, when you go into those kind of social circles and you realize, oh, you don't spend all your time on Twitter and uh, seeing seeing all the yeah. fucking drama and everything happening on on online. You're just you're just watching fucking Love Island or whatever and just like Love happy Island. with that, you know? God, I fucking hate reality TV. In the UK. <laughs> that's like that's like a whole new world. But even some people that I know who you know don't spend any time on the internet and everything like that, still I've heard of some some of these like bigger that's shows. Cool. Mm. And to me, that is still like a massive step than what it was even like five years ago. And like going back. Yeah. Because you had ago. to like seek out that shit. Like, yeah, really yeah. Like the reason I started deep. YouTube is to make friends who I could speak to about it. All right. And now I don't really want to speak about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do, I just- Fuck these friends. <laughs> I, I mean, again, going back to the podcast, it's like, I, I did want to speak about it, but I didn't want to make a whole podcast talking about it. I want to make yeah. a podcast to talk shit for I mean, like I think the hours. only reason why we labeled ourselves an anime podcast is because all three of us individually are uh, already yeah, like established it was like a, in that field. I guess right. it was like a comfort thing, but then when we got in the flow of it, I think we realized that like, I think us just chatting is like- Yeah, because I remember best. like when we first were conceptualizing this podcast, we were like, all right, let's just like, maybe like the first like 10 or 20 episodes, we should like solely focus on the stuff that people know us for. And then maybe every now and then, you know, we'll, we'll, the we'll whole slide time, in, I'm like, we'll I'm like, slide what in the some fuck? Other stuff. I do not want to do this. Like, we'll slide in some other stuff. And then, you know, episode one rolls around. We don't mention anime a single time. <laughs> I think we only talked about Attack on Titan for like 20 minutes yeah. in the first episode. I don't know. I, I've watched a lot of anime podcasts, you yeah. know, I mean, I, I've watched- What Pop do you think Taku. about them? Uh, okay, well, this is the thing, right? There's only so much you can fucking say about anime. And yeah. like, yeah. I feel like a lot of the times it's like th three or four people who regurgitate the same point with slightly different wording et back to each other. And like, mm, yes, I agree. You know? <laughs> yeah. And it's like, okay, cool. I mean, yeah. some, people, some people are looking for that, but mm -hmm. to me, it's like not exciting anymore. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, because there's so many, so much of it out there. There's right? too much anime, and by the t and I, I've gotten to the point now where I, I don't really have as much time as I'd like to do everything that I want to do. Yeah. So now I just wait until the season's over, and I'm like, right. So what was the best show, guys? What was the uh, what was the what was the yeah. what was the show that was Cause, worthy? Because yeah. I feel like out of the three of us, I probably watched the most. Anime. Yeah, you do. You do. Yeah. yeah. I'm and the most normie here. Yeah. Everyone knows that. Yeah, and we we got like a spectrum here where Joey's like, I don't even watch anime anymore. I just read manga. Yeah. Even though I'm like called the anime man. Yeah, he's the anime man who reads more <laughs> manga than like anyone. Yeah, yeah. and I, I feel like 2020 <laughs> has been the year where I have watched the least amount of anime like in probably like the last five years. And partly that's partly due to the fact that I feel like 2020 has just been a really weak year for anime. Um, mostly, it has, yeah. yeah most, like some, some of it is not the faults of like the anime itself. It's just the world situation right now where it's just less shows being made. Um, so it's just, it's been really weird because I've, because I've been watching less anime, I've had to find my enjoyment from like other things like mm. VTubers and gacha games. And it's really like broadened my horizons to like other kind of anime subcultures and everything in like yeah. the weeb subculture and everything like that. The, the otaku just overall otaku culture is like 
really just expanding, I think, just in general with mm. the success of, you know, the aforementioned like VTubers and gacha games and mm. all that shit. And it's just, I don't know. It's really interesting to watch, especially as someone who's been in that realm for most of my life. Yeah. Do you find consuming media in 2020 to be a bit just worse in general, just due to the, the climate of everything going on right now? I mean, I, f I, f I find that um, consuming media periods has become worse in general. I don't know. Because, because you kind of- for, for, Because of 2020 or just in general? Just like, in general. Just, I, I, really, feel, really? I feel like there's just too much media now. <laughs> like- uh, I don't like, know. I, I, think, I think it has to do mostly with like the environment that we're like placed in, right? It's like for a lot of people, consuming media is really the only thing we can do to like- I, yeah, I think that's almost like a little bit about it as well. Is that 2020 has just been so? I mean, everyone everyone can relate to this, right? Yeah. It's been it's been shit, right? Unless you're from kind of uh, unless you're from yeah. the future and you're watching this, 2020 <laughs> was a shit year. It's been kind of shit. And, uh, <laughs> every time like I, I have free time to do it, I'm like, ah, oh, this is free time. I could have been doing something fun and doing something in my life, but yeah. I'm stuck here watching this anime. So I got nothing better to do. Yeah, and it's kind of sad. It doesn't feel like I'm I'm really choosing to do it, it feels like I'm doing it out of like- just Obligation. Like yeah, because yeah. I got nothing better to yeah. do. And I, you know, woe is me, I can't enjoy anime, right? Who fucking cares? <laughs> but like, at the end of the day, I'm just trying to explain why, I guess my enjoyment right now of like anime, especially, it's probably been the thing that's dropped off most. Oh no, I've definitely like, I, I hate to like admit it to myself, but I've definitely had a massive fucking burnout with anime. Like yeah. just yep. not, not only because like this year's anime has been kind of mid, but also just the fact that yeah, I don't know. I've just been doing this shit for so long now where it's like- uh, You know, I made a video like yeah. like six months into my YouTube career. Like five, like this is like five years ago mm, now. Right. Like why I don't watch much anime anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I, in that video, I think it's actually still up. Yeah, in that video, right. I'm just kind of like, yeah, like, I don't know, it's weird. I just started making YouTube videos and I just don't watch much anime anymore. Right. I kind of yeah. watch like two or three a season at most. And then I realized like, I thought that would go back to normal. Never did go back to normal. Right, I've just been no. at that same stage the whole time. I mean, time. I, I feel yeah. like that's just the normal cycle of a fucking well, anime fan. Well, right? Yeah, what I realized is like, when you first get into anime, or you have that, that period when you start watching a fuck ton of anime. Yeah. I thought it would be like, okay, well, when at, when you that- You thought that would last forever? Well, yeah. I thought that, okay, when that honeymoon period, if you will, ended, yeah. Yeah. I thought, well, you know, maybe next summer when I have a lot of free time, it'll come back round. <laughs> I told myself that like every year, it just never yeah. has. And I realized, oh, this is just like the new normal. And then, like, and then you wake up first day of the summer break and you're like, I have nothing to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel I, like it was a real tell for me this year, especially yeah. when I always felt like I was behind an anime. Well, like I don't have enough time to keep up with everything <laughs> I wanted. And then in the one year where you have the most free time to do whatever you want, it just like watching anime, it just felt like a chore at points. Cause you're just like, I'm not taking a break from something else. I just feel like I'm doing this cause yeah, I have nothing it, else it, to do. You start making excuses. Like, you know, when you were back at school and you had to study, right? It's <laughs> like, it's like, oh, I'm I have to like clean my room. Yeah. You know, I have this to go is shopping. Just the existential episode of the podcast. Like, what, are we, what are we here for anymore? Are, are we, are we truly why an anime do we watch, podcast? Why do we watch anime? <laughs> for fun? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like. I mean, okay, like the, the by the time we we're, we're, this will be out, the drifting mm. episode will be out. Yes. Yeah. And then, you know, the the Cali episode will be out. And then we're filming another thing that's coming out, you know, soon. It's yes. big yeah. Second special over Second special. Like, I, and I, I know we spoke about this on YouTube burnout, but I feel like a lot of my energy that was once anime and consuming content has just been pushed in different avenues. Yeah. And I feel like that's. All, all my energy has been pushed into trash taste. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, and again, we spoke about that. I, I, yeah. don't, I don't like talking about topics that we yeah, spoke yeah, yeah, about, yeah. but it's like, I guess I wanted to talk about this topic in general just because I know that we get a lot of comments being like, they don't really talk about anime anymore, but then there's also people on the other side of the I spectrum. I feel like it's 50-50. Mm. Yeah, there's some people who are like, oh, I fucking hate it when they talk about anime. Yeah. Like, I wonder to the, to the viewers, do you prefer when we speak about anime or not? I mean, we're gonna speak about it regardless when we want to, but it's yeah. nice to hear your opinion. Yeah, we want yeah. to hear your opinions, but at the end of the day, we're gonna talk about whatever the fuck <laughs> we want to talk about. <laughs> but yeah. like, yeah, no, it, but that to me is just like reassuring mm. that, we have an audience that, because I always thought, oh yeah, like 99.9% .9 of the people who are subscribed to and watch Trash mm, Taste yeah. are only there because they like anime. Yeah, right? I mean, I, I thought, I, I mean, when we started the podcast, I knew it was gonna be a risk being like, let's just 
talk about ourselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just fucking talk about life, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and it, because there's someone who's like, because there's someone who's pigeonholed themselves into that side yeah, of things. You've never really spoke about yourself publicly, no. and I, I just wanted to because yeah. I'm like, yeah. man, I feel like people. Because I this. love myself. <laughs> I just think I, I just feel like I'm a gift. <laughs> and, no, no, I mean, because because on your chat, I, I really thought that as a YouTuber, there was like this image that people had of me, mm-hmm. and I really just wanted to like talk about myself and help. Well, not help, just like I don't know, have this image of uh, the people, the image people had of me be more true. So when mm. they watch my videos, you know, they might see me behave in a certain way, but when they go and watch Trash Taste, they know what I'm really like, right. they know yeah, what I'm yeah. chill, right? They know well, that it's yeah, like- Yeah, well, I mean, that's out. why I like to preface it by saying like, on on Trash Taste, we're not the anime man Giga and Sea Dog. We're yeah. Joey, yeah, Gunn yeah, yeah, and Con. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, I like to think that how you guys see us on this show mm. is how we, th- is the closest to reality of how we actually are. Whereas yeah. like, you know, on our main channels, of course, like any good main channel, there's a performative side to it, right? Where it's like we're we're acting as like that character. I mean, my my uh was my content on my main channel is like way different from anything we do on Trash Taste. And yeah. that's why like so, working on some like some of like the more um ambitious projects on Trash Taste has been like a breath of fresh air to mm-hmm. me because it's just yeah. something different. Like the drifting yeah. video was uh I mean it was just a challenge all around. I mean that mm. was like I mean, that, that was a challenge on every fucking end. I mean, we, we briefly talked about like how much effort we put in that video, but yeah. holy hell, we I've learned, I learned so much from just doing the episode and just seeing how much, like how all the little things you don't think about until the day of the shoot, right? By the way, yeah. go check it out if you haven't. Yeah. It's yeah. in the description. I mean, I really want to make more, but also want some more help. Cause like, I feel like <laughs> being in charge of all the tech is so worrying. Cause it's like, what, what is, is Joey's mic working? Is we, this yeah. we, need working? A, we need to start hiring like we need staff. A PA, we need a PA, hey, yeah. people in, living in Japan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're hiring. <laughs> <laughs> What were we saying? Fuck it. About like the, is, is Trash Taste an anime podcast or not? Right, right, right. That was oh, right, we're just talking about the uh, evolution of the anime mm. community in the past past years and how how like popular it's gotten. So, like, here's a question. Where do, you, where do you see the anime community and the anime fandom in like, in like the next few years? It's really hard to say because I mean- Honestly, same. I think it'll be the same age. You think it'll be the same? I think it'd Roughly. be I think it'd be the same, but definitely we're gonna start to see more, as you put it, weebs than mm-hmm. actual like anime fans, right? Like yeah. because I feel that the whole I feel that the whole genre of anime fans is kind of like I don't want to say it's dying, but it's slowly becoming yeah. not as like in like, the spotlight as like, it was like before. Like right? saying you're an anime fan is sounding more and more like you're just saying you're a gamer. I, you know I mean, what I mean? I, <laughs> I it, remember, ju- it just means nothing because everyone's a game. You know, you know I, what I, I mean? I mean, yeah. I remember when I used, to, uh, I used to play online games like League of Legends and I would make like a, a weeb joke or whatever. Yeah. And then like people would be like, you're a fucking weeb, you disgusting. <laughs> but now it would be like one person in the lobby who doesn't know the reference. Right? Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I genuinely don't think that much will change. If Soon I'm we're gonna be start, we're gonna be calling ourselves otaku girls instead of gamer girls, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm an otaku. I wonder, do you ever think that maybe like the degenerate side of anime might hold it back from going more mainstream? No, I feel like mm. that subculture is always gonna be there. Yeah. Because I've, if I've, anything, it's grown. Yeah, cause, cause right now, right now it's, it's like people were scared that anime becoming mainstream would make this degenerate side of the, degenerate side of anime like kind of calm down a bit. But if anything, just because there's so much more anime being made nowadays, you don't really have to pick a choose. Who the fuck thinks that it would calm down the degenerate side? I mean, I've, I've seen comments online to yeah, be like- I, if, I think really? the general the yeah. general stigma is that. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> but as someone who is in the degenerative side- how much side, Pokemon porn there is? That yeah. shit, that stuff doesn't That's chill out with more as, people. As, as someone on the degenerative side, like seeing all these like new faces come into it, these these just so wholesome, like just pure hearted people coming into it being like, what is hentai? <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> let me show you. <laughs> Let and me just, let me let me open your world. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm like the Joker in that case, right? Like, I, I love seeing people suffer through this, just like realizing realizing that the world that they're living in is actually burning from the inside. Right? It's like, oh, Joe, you just want to see the world burn. Yeah, I love inside. seeing the world burn. <laughs> Alrighty then. Just be like, let me teach you a little thing about Dojin codes. Okay. Yeah. No, but I feel like. It, because the the big change I've seen is not in like 
not in the content of anime that's being made, but just the sheer amounts of anime that's mm. being made. Like this season, we have like 38 fucking shows just, airing the I season. Just, I just couldn't give a fuck. Which, just, which is like, if you try to keep up with everything, that's watching three seasons of anime in one fucking week. Who, who the fuck's doing this? You know what I mean? Because 20 years ago, I think I, think I remember this from a video I made. I think 20 years ago in like early 2000s, yeah. uh, each season we had seven yeah. shows. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It would, which th is much more manageable. Yeah, it, there, there was a period like ten to twenty years ago where you could you could legitimately follow everything that was going on in the season and mm. be uh, be kept up with like the conversation with what was coming out because there wasn't that much to watch, and now it's just okay. What kind of anime fan are you? Do you like the mainstream shonen stuff? Do you like you know degenerate stuff, idol stuff, whatever, or like a mixture of everything? Like that you you could pick and choose whatever mood you're you're in the mood there's to a, watch. There's an anime for every niche. In every fetish now. Yeah. Like, and and the thing is, like, I feel like the quality of anime in general has gotten a little better because everything, like, I, I feel like everything is everything's just good. Everything's you, you, just like Because you gotta stand out now. Well, yeah, yeah. Right? Exactly. It's, it's like fucking TV. Like TV is so good now. Yeah. Like, mm. There is so many fucking good TV shows that like every week you're getting recommended, like a nine point five out of ten. You're like, yeah. well fuck. I mean I I, I barely finished House of Cards, and then look what happened. To that. Yeah, but, but, but like the problem with that is, is it's like it's like the biggest first world problem in the world. When it everything really is, when everything's really. good, nothing, everything's too good. <laughs> every when everything's good, nothing stands out anymore. Like yeah. I, sometimes I watch a seasonal anime now, and it's like this is like the this is like the biggest seven to eight out of ten in the seasonal <laughs> anime, and I just forget it. And I compare like these sh these like what I would call now like average shows, yeah. and I compare it to some of like some of like the kind of like the mid shows that I would watch back when I was getting into anime, yeah. and they're like way better. But for some reason, I like I'm, I remember watching it like a show like I'm gonna, off the top of my head, maybe something like Dark and Black, yeah, which is also I fucking enjoyed that yeah. show, but it's like I think back and I'm like. If that show aired nowadays, it would just wouldn't stand out yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, that's God, the thing, right? I, I love like, that show. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing, though, right? It's like you know, normally in an out of ten rating, five is the average. Yeah, and it really says something when nowadays seven or eight is the average. This episode is sponsored by Skillshare. Connor, to you. I did not expect that. Okay. <laughs> this holiday season, give the gift that means more. Get creative and learn how to make the perfect handmade gift with Skillshare's online classes. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning, with so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives. Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. We've all been learning how to read script, and it's going great. <laughs> List multiple topics. <laughs> if you watch a podcast, you might be interested in video editing or Photoshop or any of that stuff that goes into making YouTube content. And I guarantee no matter what skill you want to learn, there is a class for it on Skillshare. If you love the way we sound, there's also an audio production lessons that are available as well. What's Jerry doing with his head? <laughs> I'm agreeing, I'm agreeing. I had to get up on my phone, but I've actually used uh, quite a while back when I did promote Skillshare on my own channel. Right. I did do the Adobe Photoshop CC Essentials training course because I sucked at Photoshop. And this was a great way to get very condensed guides on how to do certain things in Photoshop that I still use to this day. Thanks to Skillshare. This holiday season, give a gift that means more. Get creative. I was very, very aggressive there because I am so passionate about how to get creative and learning how to make the perfect handmade gift. I'm scared. I'm, I'm worried. When you put time, effort, and creativity into a gift, it shows how much you care. <laughs> <laughs> Give a gift that's one of a kind, completely personalized or perfectly imperfect. Damn, that's deep, bro. Damn. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to the pricey in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Are you saying that if I pay less than $10 a month, I can get Everything. knowledge? You can get the knowledge of the internet. Damn everything I've ever wanted. Unlock your brain for less than $10 a month. <laughs> so explore your creativity at skillshare.com slash trash taste and get a free trial of a premium membership. That is skillshare.com slash trash taste for a free trial of premium membership. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring. Back to the episode. Which is going off from what I was saying before, where I feel like it's just harder to com consume media now because just less things stand out. And mm. there's so much choice that sometimes you have, you have get that point where you're like, you want, you sit down, you have like your lunch or something. And you're like, oh, let's, let's put it, let's put something on a lunch. And then you spend like fucking 15 minutes scrolling down your fucking anime list or your Netflix or something. Mm. And then you end up finishing your lunch by the time you like <laughs> finish scrolling down and looking at everything. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. I just, I just 
I just click the first thing into my YouTube recommend and it's <laughs> half decent. Oh, really? Yeah, because I'm like, I I can't, if I know I'm going to be eating, like I can't mm. put Netflix on because I know I'm going to eat the food with, before the credits even fucking finish. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, yeah, I always have to put on YouTube, but like for me, it's like, it's the opposite. I put on, I put on a video that where I'm like, okay, yeah, I can rewatch that. Right. You know, it's, it's usually a video that I know I enjoyed and I know I liked, but has the replayability that I can watch it again during lunch. So yeah, weirdly enough, I don't actually go out and like look for new videos during like a lunch break or something. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I need to be like in that mood of like discovery. Right. Uh, do, as weird yeah. as that sounds. But before I go to bed, the amount of times I've opened Netflix and had luck and just been yeah. like, well, all of these seem like I'd probably have fun, but <laughs> fuck, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I guess I'll put report of the week on and watch me to fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, exactly. Here's a question for you, for you though, Connor. You said you're like, you watch way less anime now than you yeah, used to. Yeah, yeah. Would you say that maybe you you might be growing out of it in any sense of the <gasps> world? Like it just doesn't fit your lifestyle anymore? You're maturing out of anime? Yeah. No, I mean, I still love anime. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. the banger shows, but I think I've just, I don't know, stopped fucking lying to myself. <laughs> like I think because of the, I think because of the position I was in, yeah. I felt yeah. indebted to anime. Like I had to watch it. Right. Yeah. You know, back when I first started, I was like, I'm an anime YouTube. I have to watch anime, yeah. I have to keep up with it, you know? So yeah. I can be like, I can keep up with the hot takes. Yeah. But. I think, you know, maybe like two, three years ago, I just kind of realized like, I don't like doing this. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna watch the biggest shows that come out and enjoy <laughs> right. them and have a great time. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. anime, right? The way I can- Like you don't it. care to like go out and like discover if no, the show is no, good no. or not, right? No, I, I have no, no, no ambition to do yeah. that. I'm like, I'll just wait until everyone agrees a show is good. Yeah. I'll watch it because I know the show's gonna be good. Like, right, why, right, like right. I, I, I've had so many experiences where I've just watched an anime that's so fucking boring that I'm like, Okay, I mean, yeah, I guess I guess Decadence was fine, you know. I, uh, Did you watch Decadence? I watched like three episodes of Decadence because everyone was hyping it up. Yeah, everyone was hyping it up. Is it good? <laughs> I, I I totally agree with really? this. Yeah. Just like, uh, there's there's so many shows now like nowadays which are seasonal anime, and I feel like people only hype it up because it's a seasonal anime and right. there's nothing else to talk about. So someone's got to hype up something. There's I mean, it's really telling because ninety percent of those shows that get hyped up while it's airing, you don't hear about after it's finished. I I, I also just watch a lot more YouTube. Like I think on average, I watch yeah. like 40 yeah. hours a week of YouTube. I, I agree, yeah, I've, I've watched a lot more YouTube. <laughs> That's a lot of YouTube. Yeah. The thing is, right, okay, YouTube tells me, cause you can actually look on the app and it can actually tell you how much YouTube you watch a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it'll tell you how much you watch an average a day. And it's been like four hours a day I watch or something. Or something. Yeah. So now, on average at least. Yeah. But like, I mean, like I said, 40 something. I mean, hours. I'm probably the same, I just haven't checked. Cause the problem is, right, is that it's not- Wait, it's on the YouTube app? Yeah, yeah it's on the YouTube app. I'm like, right it's now. like deep oh, in the God. settings. Oh, oh no, oh so, no. So, I mean, while I'm, ex I'll, I'll, I'll look while I'm explaining it. But I, I remember that there was uh um, because essentially, right, when I'm, I go to the gym, yeah. right, for two hours, because I have YouTube premium, so you can you can lock your phone and listen to audio. Yeah. I'll watch YouTube videos with just audio only. So that's mm. like two hours. Yeah. When I take a shit, you bet I'm putting the YouTube video on for two minutes. When I'm brushing my teeth, <laughs> YouTube video. When I'm in the bath, YouTube video. When I'm working and it's not important, I don't need to listen, YouTube video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have four and a half hours daily. See, <laughs> yeah. see, did you daily think that you watch four hours no, of YouTube? No, I've apparently already just today watched three hours. I mean, I know that I watch a yeah, hell of God a lot of YouTube. God doesn't want to know. What? <laughs> If, if I don't look, I don't have to know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, on Sunday, I watched eight hours of YouTube. Jesus. I don't even remember doing that. No, because here's the thing why yeah. like- <laughs> I've watched uh, 50 hours in the last week. Yeah, because <laughs> here, here's the thing about YouTube is that it's just content on YouTube is just that much easier to consume, right? Yeah. yeah. Cause you, you, you know, when you, you, do you have like a kind of like a subconscious value system when it comes to like content. So when, when you watch like a Netflix show or something, mm. it's like a, you're sitting down and you're paying the fuck attention, yeah. right? But when it's a YouTube video, you could do, be doing whatever and you just can have it on the, in the background yeah. and just, you know, and just, and just not really give a shit about it, you know? Yeah. I also like keeping up with YouTube a lot. Like, I think I'm way more invested in like YouTube, like as a, like, as a subculture. Yeah. than than anime, honestly, yeah. like I, I'm like, I, I've, been following YouTube like religiously for like seven years. Yeah. So I know all like the drama, everything that's ever happened on YouTube. I'm sure like if we did a quiz, I'm sure it aced that quiz. Yeah, I, Are I, you a YouTube fan? <laughs> I, I'm a big YouTube fan. <laughs> no, I, I, I know exactly what you mean. Cause it's, it's exactly the same in like every subculture of YouTube as well. Cause like I know a lot of Anitubers who I swear spend most of their time watching other Anitubers yeah. as opposed to watching anime. And, and I feel like, I feel like every Anituber has been through that stage where oh, you yeah. find yourself watching more Anitubes than you do watching anime. Yeah, know? yeah. It's and like, I could watch this anime or I could watch this Anituber talking yeah, about that anime. Exactly. Yeah. And now it's just grown from I watch other Anitubers to now I just watch 
other YouTubers, YouTubers in general, yeah. rather than like my, my anime consumption has remained the same this entire time, but my consumption of like watching other anime YouTubers and watching other YouTubers has just grown immensely. Yeah. And that's why I feel like it's it's so weird when I see, when I, whenever I see the comments and you know the comment I'm talking about where it's like, oh, I'm having trouble keeping up with anime, but a two hour trash taste episode. <laughs> Give me, give me that shit any day of the week, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess because it's easy to digest, right? I think with anime, I mean, Joey can't relate, but you know, the subtitles, I gotta fucking focus, you know? Mm. It's like, all right, okay, fine. I guess I'll pay attention. Well, I mean, I have to focus on listening. I guess right? true, true. But, yeah. But I, I still, yeah, I mean. I don't know, I guess it's sad because I, I just don't want to admit that I've fallen out of anime, really. I think that's the saddest part. Right. There Especially is. because you've like followed it for all this time, right? I, yeah, I guess it's kind of sad being like, I guess I'm just not into anime as much as I used to be. Mm. Like, I don't know. Do you think though that's like because- said, it's just part of growing yeah, up. Yeah, I guess it is, yeah. man. Do you think <laughs> it, but do you think as well that it might have to do with the fact that you have grown up or is it the fact of like, the quality of the shows or like the type no, of shows that are coming the quality, out. The, I mean, we got better anime now, than we, let's be honest. Yeah, The, the anime is better now than it was. But I, do you feel like maybe it's just you enjoy different kinds of media now? Cause mm. let's, let's remove anime from the equation, but what's like the last TV show you properly, properly enjoyed? Anime or not? Uh, <laughs> Great Pretender? Okay. Okay. And that was like, that's an anime. And that yeah. was like two, three months ago. Yeah. Right, right. What the fuck have I been watching? <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, apparently. Because here, here's what I've realized where, you know, when, when I find a show that I really enjoy, mm. it's so rare nowadays because we consume so much media, mm. but so much of it is just fucking forgettable. Yeah. Right? And that's why you're like, you, you do watch a lot of YouTube, right? But is that the same kind of enjoyment that you get from watching some of your favorite shows that you know you remember from you know, as a kid or you know when you're marathoning a show and you're just really really into it mm. and i feel like just because we consume more media doesn't necessarily mean that we value media the same That's you know true. it's mm -hmm. just it's just i feel like we we've just programmed our brain to yeah. never have dead space so we're always consuming something yeah and yeah. i guess because of the age of the internet and you know having being more knowledgeable about anime, especially in our position, right? Mm. It's yeah. almost commodified. So yeah. I guess it's kind of weird because it's, I think my motivation for wanting to watch anime now is to just feel in the loop. Right. Yeah. Not because I actually want to watch that show. Yeah. yeah. Which is why I've just fully admitted to myself, I'm just only going to watch the big shows that yeah. everyone agrees But that's good. the thing, right? It's like, it definitely doesn't help when everyone else around you is like, hey, have you watched this show? Have you watched this show? Have you watched this show? Yeah. What are your thoughts on this show? Because, because yeah, yeah. To, to us it's different now, because to, to us it's like anime has become a job and yeah. someone who watches as much anime as me, like I can, I can see a show and I can be like, I can see that this is a good show. You know what I mean? I, I can break it down to be like, yeah, I know why, I know why this is a good show. I, I know why, I know why people are hyping this up. But when, when you, when you reach the point where you just, it, you kind of, become part of the seasonal cycle. You kind of see like the, you kind of see the patterns, you know? Mm -hmm. There's 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 always these, the You're same- just turning it into a fucking I, conveyor belt. Right? I, I, like, I had that exact experience when I went to go watch the Demon Slayer movie. Yeah. I was like, I took one look at the poster and I was like, I know exactly what's gonna happen. In this yeah, movie. yeah, exactly right. Like just, just from like, oh yeah, this character's gonna do this and this character's gonna do this. And sure enough, I was like 90% correct on what yeah. happened. Yeah. And like, is that a good thing? Or is, I mean, I still enjoyed it. But it's like, you know, the whole like wow factor was completely gone, right? And I yeah. think that's the entire reason why I've kind of been burned out on anime and I've been much more into manga. Because like nowadays, especially nowadays, everybody is talking about every anime that matters. Yeah. Right? It's almost like inescapable. Yeah. But the manga side of things, because like 90% of manga had, don't have <coughs> translations, it's still a mystery. Yeah. Right? It, it's what the anime community was you know, 10 like, years like 10, ago. 10 years ago. Yeah. I, I totally agree. And that's why <clears throat> like, I, I love going into the world of manga because you don't, in anime, you don't get that feeling of discovering that hidden gem anymore. Yeah. There's, there's no feeling of discovery because everyone knows what everything good is, yeah. right? You know what's going to come out three yeah. seasons there's, from there's now, no, right? There's no surprise yeah. anymore. Yeah. Like e even when there's a good show that I can recommend someone watching the season, to me, I'm just like, I can tell this is a good show and I can tell people will enjoy it, yeah. but I don't enjoy it in the same kind of like, wow, this is, this is like, this is something new to me. Mm. I'm like, okay, this is just a very solid show this season and yeah. I can recommend people watch it if they want to experience X kind of thing, but right. when I go into manga, I'm just like, I don't know what's going to be good. I don't, yeah. I don't know what's going to be bad. The, the amount of times I've like finished reading a manga series and I've said to myself, "How was no one talking about this?" Yeah, is way more than 
any amount of anime that I've ever covered. Mm-hmm. Because again, like th- that whole mystery of- Well, it's, it's an event, right? As right. well, like it's, just, it, you know, it's coming out this season. It's one of the things. Right. Like, yeah. You're watching weekly, right? Like it's, yeah. it's gonna yeah. end. Like manga is so ongoing that it's hard to, yeah. I think have that kind of hype for it. Right. Yeah, and there's there's like way more, I, th- I feel like there's way more choice with manga as well. And it's it's mm. such a such a vast world oh, that- fucking loads. Yeah, yeah, that I don't feel like anyone's gonna be able to, you know, read everything. So yeah. challenge accepted. I, 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 just realized, I just realized this is literally, yeah, like you said, first world problems, the podcast. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> My toilet seat temperature is one Celsius off what I like. I, what can I say? My I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> no, I mean, it totally is, but it, I mean, it's, it's totally, I feel like a problem that has come with this new generation where mm. there's just so much to do, so much to watch. It's impossible. There's too to, much to do. There's too much well, to it's do. It's like that whole fucking meme of like, you know, White people rewatching The Office for like the tenth time. Yeah, just like that's oh, funny. I like it. <laughs> it's, you know, like I've, I've rewatched uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia more times than I can fucking oh, count. It's fucking man, amazing. Right. Yeah, it's like, like yeah. <laughs> it's fucking right, amazing. Okay, actually, yeah. though, yeah. I relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now, <laughs> but I feel I feel like because there's so much, we've desensitized ourselves to so much as well. Mm. And like I, you know, I, I look at someone like you who probably watches more content, more media than you ever have in your life. Yeah, probably. But th- thinking back about what's actually memorable, you, you, it's, it's, like, it's hard, like, right? I, it's hard. I, I, I like you, I think you you were like, what the fuck? Like when I play League of Legends or play games, mm. I've watched YouTube videos on the other like screen. Yeah I, yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, I can't do that. You can't? It's, it's yeah. the same as people who can, you know, watch a TV show while reading a book. It's like, how do you do well, that? Well, that's fucked up. Yeah, you're right? It's like, how do you do that? Oh, because you or can... like listening to music while reading a book. I can't even do that. Oh, I can do that. I can't do that. Okay, here, here, here's a question. Do you remember the first time you watched a YouTube video at 1.5 or two times speed? No, I've never done have that. You, have you ever done that? Yeah, of never. course, yeah. yeah. I've, I've never done that. And I realized, I, I, cause I realized why would I ever want this? That just means I'm not enjoying the content, how it's supposed to be like enjoyed. And then I realized, wait, I could just consume this content in a faster, oh my God. In, 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 like a, in like a shorter time period. And then there, there are people who legit, legit watch every video in yeah. like two times. And then, and then I realized, like, I, I realized it was like a habit like that was subconsciously forming. And then I realized, wait, I'm not even fucking enjoying this content anymore. I'm just, <laughs> I just literally, I'm just watching it just to keep up. And I'm like, right. wait, that's, that's, that's pretty fucked. Cause that's, that's, that's kind of like hacking my mind into what fucking entertainment is at the end of the day. Right, I, that, you know, you know what I, I mean. I do think it's time, like slowly turning into like an info wars. <laughs> <laughs> I, what I, I, is I, entertainment? <laughs> Are we consuming too much media? I do, I do think times two should be reserved for shitty tutorials that take too fucking <laughs> yeah, long, right. yeah. too long I, to I explain. I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. I, I don't trust anyone who opens up a tutorial and doesn't immediately skip to two minutes in. Like, oh, I, yeah, yeah, like yeah. there's so many fucking channels that are like tutorials, like, yo, what's up guys? And I'm like, I, you should not, YouTubers should who do tutorials should not be allowed to do intros. Yeah. Like you should basically just tell me- Just what, give what me I, the information. Yeah, just fucking <laughs> get right into it, dude. Like, yo, what's up guys? I'm uploading daily content. Okay, 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 okay. And next week I'm live streaming. I'm gonna be talking about that. And it's, Okay. I remember the, I remember the other day because I was trying to like fix something with my cam link, right? Yeah, and right. I was like, okay, I need to figure out some issues with cam link. And there was this video which was like, you know, five issues with cam link and how to fix it. It was like a ten minute video. I'm like, all right, like maybe they're gonna go like two minutes. It, each, it doesn't right? need to be ten yeah. minutes. And I'm like, dude, this dude, like legit, like swear to God, for the first six minutes he was just plugging all his shit and like trying to add like jokes and stuff. And he's like, all right, let's get into the meat of the video. And I'm like, there's only four minutes left. How are you, how are you gonna talk about five problems and, and how to solve them? in four minutes. <laughs> oh my God, dude. You know, you know, it's a big issue when even like, cause you you can Google this stuff and, and yeah. Google will show you the video results yeah. and it'll literally skip to the point where it thinks the yeah. tutorial yes. actually yes. starts. <laughs> Which like, is like, if Google is automating this, why do people think that anyone else is gonna <laughs> fucking watch it? I remember in like 2010 when it was like video game, like, oh, where is this thing or how to do this thing? Yeah. You yeah. Always watch a video. The mm. video will show you exactly how to do it and it'll jump right into yeah. it. But now it's yeah. gone like- No backwards. commentary. Just, yeah. Now, yeah, now it's gone like backwards where I'm like, I guess I'll click the forum first and see if I can get the information in 10 seconds. Yeah. So I'm gonna click on this 20 minute video and fuck. You know, is it, is it the same operating system? Fuck. Yeah. yeah. It's like I, it's like I don't care about your cam link jokes. All right, just just tell me how to fix my fucking cam link, please. <laughs> just thinking of all the times when I've had like a tech issue, and it's some guy with like the thickest accent, like trying to explain it. I'm like, okay, fuck. What is he saying? Uh, 
times he, two. And he's like literally swallowing the microphone yeah. as well. See, so like even at times two speed, it's like, I can't, <laughs> I can't. And you have to go down to the comments to like, see if someone's like said, like paraphrased <laughs> it in some way. You know what I hate? YouTube has started doing a thing where you can, I mean, they've done it for a while, but if you're a foreign channel, so I could put like French titles, mm. Yeah. right? So there was this one where it was a guide and I clicked on it and I'm pretty <laughs> sure it was like an Indian guide fully in like Indian. Right. And I was like, what the fuck? Why is the title in English? Right, right, yeah, right. It's like how to fix your Android five problem. And I was like, sick, that's exactly what I want. I click on it and he starts talking in I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and like, there was no subtitles or anything. Right, so I was right, like, right. Who, why? Why would you yeah, do Yeah, because this? it like auto translates the titles, right? But you have to approve that, I think. Yeah. Right. No, but like I've I've done that before with like, cause I watch like a lot of like Japanese videos as well mm. with like Japanese titles. Mm. And for some reason, every now and then there's a video where if yeah. I search for it, it's displayed in Japanese. Yeah. But the moment I click on it, the title turns to English. Is, yeah. it, is it the dude who makes the knives out of shit? That one too. But also there's like a bunch of just like, I've I, like a lot of like VTuber clips, for example, like huh. are written in Japanese in the search bar. But then the moment I click it, it turns to English. Yeah, I've noticed that as well. I, and like, I feel like- Why? Yeah, I don't know. Which is, which is why I feel like YouTube getting rid of closed captions is like Dumbest the biggest ever. fucking mistake. I don't know why they're doing it. There were like 0.5% of people use them or whatever. It's like, that's still 0.5% <laughs> yeah. of how many fucking millions yeah. of people? What? <laughs> Insane. Yeah. The I, entire YouTube community is crying right now. Yeah, you know? right. <laughs> Just like, like, how about we make it mm, worse? How, how like, are you that? saying yeah. we have to hard sub <laughs> Ew, our videos? Hard, sub. hard subs? Ew. <laughs> You know that feature that allows me to conveniently change subtitles depending on which language yeah. the user is Oh, wow, that would be stupid, man. Let's get rid of that. It's fucking hell. Fucking YouTube's so dumb sometimes. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I can't believe it. Stop changing, YouTube. <laughs> stop, stop. Ch stop changing for the worst. Just stop changing. Like, they're like, how about we do the 50th logo redesign to more minimalism? The color red is now our logo. <laughs> but, but let's take out all the good features. And it's like, oh, okay, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus. They take so many L's. Remember when they did the uh, like what was the what was the funniest one? The YouTube Heroes. Do you remember that one? Oh my! What was, was that again? It's like where like they were gonna like make mods basically out of like YouTube users where they could like. Oh, I remember that. that. I don't even remember it, that. It was a fucking mess. It was yeah. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, here's a question to you guys then, because I don't I don't know if I'm like just getting old or is if if this is just like yes. it's just <laughs> just like boomer talk. But do you feel like? Do you feel like the golden age of the internet has passed? Or has there even been a golden age of the internet? I, I don't know. I think the wild, wild west is gone. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like right. if, if I were to say, I don't know, because like golden age of something is such a fucking subjective thing. Yeah, what do you define thing. as the golden? It's so subjective. Yeah, the best period. But like well, best period based on what? Like your own- I mean, I mean, it's subjective. Right? Yeah, right. It's, it's like, it's like best, it's, best it's, based it's, on like your personal experience with it or like best like objectively or like best based on something or other like, because I can argue that like, okay, m like my personal golden age of the internet would yeah. be now because- Yo, like, shit's easy to use now, Yeah, it's man. shit's yeah. easy to use. Like, you know, you can get any information with anything and everything is so conveniently laid out, but best experience in terms of like, my overall enjoyment, enjoyment of yeah. it would be like the mid 2000s because that was, that was like fuck, the golden dude. age yeah. of like new grounds and like flash games and like that shit was so fucking fun and none of that exists anymore. I mean, th now when I download something, I'm I'm like 99% sure it's not a virus. Whereas yeah. back then it was the opposite ratio where yeah. I'm like, well, just this everything is a virus, wrong. but I really want that cool mouse though. That right. mouse yeah. that popped up looked really cool with yeah. the sprinkles. I, I, really, <laughs> I, really, I really I really, want that. <laughs> like, I want to turn my cursor into like a little cat. I, I think I want nine toolbars. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I remember the horror when my I, my mum showed me her laptop and I thought I fucked one of our PCs. Yeah. Yeah. She had like four internet explorer, I like fucking toolbars and I'm like, oh God. <laughs> yeah, you know, like at the time, like I hated it, but you know, the, the reminiscent like times of like going onto my mom's PC and having to swim through all the pop-ups just to get to where I needed to go to yeah. was like, I hated it at the time, but now I look back and it's like, oh yes, yeah, was, internet yeah. do used to be like that. Yeah, Cause I feel like everything now is, you know, it's, it's, it's everything is more formulaic, more clean. Yeah, I'd say every, every, everything has been like optimized. Yeah. As we were saying, every, it's like the internet has definitely been optimized. Um, and you know, it's, it's it, that, that's why I bring up the argument of like, was it better when it was like, had its charms when you feel like you were discovering something new and it was, it mm. felt fresh, you know, or, or now that everything's formulaic, everything's laid out, everything's clean. Yeah. Yeah. that it's just less 
fun. I mean, yes. like, you know, the whole, like, as I was saying earlier, like the whole like mystery of like discovering a new anime, mm. right? Like back then in like the mid 2000s was like, it was fucking great because it was like going into a gold mine that hadn't been discovered yet, Yeah, right? And like, you know, it was the whole thing, but at the same time, it was a double-edged sword, right? It was like, do I dare click on this anime to try and discover it with the risk of possibly getting, I don't know, like seven Trojan horses coming into my house, you know? Like, it's like, do I take the risk? It's like, oh, Wild Wild West, here we go, right? Yeah. But nowadays it's like, if I click on a link, like I'm fairly certain I'm gonna get something and it's probably going to be something I've already heard of, right? Exactly. So like the entire mystery of it is gone. Like, oh my God, the fucking, the amount of time I spent on like Newgrounds, for example, just going through just the most shittiest of cartoons and flash games to, Dude, find, that, to find that one game or cartoon where it's just like, I'll never fucking Dude, remember do you remember the first time you discovered like the fucking stick figure fights on Newgrounds? Oh, and it was just like the best shit ever. You're like, cool. I don't need top 10 anime fights. Dude. I have like Zhao Zhao or whatever the fuck yeah. it was called. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the moment I discovered like the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. Oh like, my God. Yes. Like that shit. When I, when I found that, I was like, this is peak internet. Like <laughs> nothing, nothing will top this. No movie or experience will ever top this. That was the, the song, right? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the yeah. ultimate yeah. showdown. Yeah, that's the yeah. guy. Yeah. The, Destiny. the Harry Potter puppets. Yeah, well. yeah, 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 same yeah, guy. Yeah, was... And when I first discovered that, I was like, dude, this this is my entertainment for the next 20 years. Like, I will never get bored of this. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think, I, I don't know if this is because I'm just tired as fuck and in like a shitty mood in general. <laughs> 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 no, it's just, it's sad the internet now. I don't know. I just feel like I'm fucking fat, like injected like a, a stream of content constantly, mm. especially on like Facebook and Twitter. It's just like, I just scroll and I'm like, ah. you ever thought about detoxing? Ah. It feels know. like you need a detox because because know. when 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 you start like when when you start multitasking with your entertainment, that's when I'm just like, okay, may maybe this is too much. I'm not even enjoying this anymore. Yeah. When I'm having a league game and a YouTube I, video I, and music on at the same time, you're just like, you're not enjoying any of these I, singular I, things. I, I don't know if it's that though. I, I don't know if it's just because the way that the the, the like Facebook and Instagram and and Reddit and all are all set up where it's just like permanently feeding you something. Yeah. Where like, even if I detox from it, the moment I get right back into it, like it's just gonna be the same shit again, where I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'm constantly being like manipulated now. It's right? like legit turning into like serial experiments. No, no, it is. Right? No, no, I mean, like, it is, it yeah. is. I mean like- These systems know exactly what we want to fucking see yeah. and they know what's gonna make us luck and, and it works. Yeah. Like, And I feel like back then it was exciting and it was really like rough around the edges and I didn't mind talking to strangers. <laughs> Remember that? Remember when you didn't mind talking to a stranger and being like, hey, yeah. man, I missed the doing? times of like booting up MSN Messenger and seeing like 70 like friend yeah. requests from yeah, people. Yeah, I had yeah, no yeah. idea. I'm like, I'm sure these like, are nice I legit people. made some friends who like, I still keep in touch with one or two of them who are like complete random people. I met right, right. Yeah, yeah. And, like made really good friends with them, met them in person as well. Like mm. I, like that was really genuine. <clears throat> and it also felt because it was rough around the edges and it was normally a very small team making these web, these huge websites, mm, yeah. right? Like it didn't feel like anyone was trying to take advantage of anyone. It was just a community. Yeah. Now it feels like, yes, there is a community, but I'm also just a fucking like, just one of those fucking chickens in the pen, just like, oh, please give me a drop of water, please. So I can get yeah. real fat for you and you can sell my advertising money. You know what I mean? I just feel like I've These been- social no, I, corporate I, 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 like, I, I, I legit I, feel like a chicken in the- like, yeah. I, I honestly feel that attention fatigue nowadays is oh, a real thing. Oh yeah. Where like you talk about, you just want to boot up a game of league and just, do the beep in the boops, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that's because you just want something that's familiar. It doesn't take a lot of effort. Yeah. You know how it works. And I, I, cause that's like, it's because the internet nowadays has become so good at getting your attention. Yeah. It's just like, I got, I got some serotonin for you. I got some serotonin for you right here, right here. Just, uh, like, just like, click this link. Yeah, like, like it'll be like, Twitter will be like, hey, a tweet you missed and it'll pop up as a notification. Yeah. yeah. Like, Don't do that. <laughs> no. Stop. Because remember when Stop. going onto the internet was like a fucking event you, you know of what? like, all right, yeah. mom's out of the house, which means she's not using the phone, which means the dial up is going to be just a little bit faster. You know Let's I, go. I had a real like fucking moment the other day. Yeah. Which audio listeners wouldn't have been able to see. I, had, like, <laughs> I, I, I like fell back a little yeah. bit. Um, I remember that like, you know, if it's like, let's say you posted something and it blew up, right? Mm, now yeah. you'll know immediately. Mm, remember yeah. when you had to log out of a website, log back in, check that inbox. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's weird. I just I mean, remember that we I'm, did that. I mean, I just like, you know, recently, you know, upgraded my computer as we yeah, established yeah, last yeah. episode. And like, I had to log back into everything. Yeah. Yeah. And it really like said something when I was like, I haven't logged out. Shit, shit what's my password again? Like, <laughs> because yeah. everything just stays logged in, yeah. right? So I'm like, yeah. I, like I, I swear, like out of like the 10 something websites that I had to log into, like eight of them, I was like, 
forgot password. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't know which YouTuber it was. Uh, they messaged me and I didn't reply for a whole day because I just stopped replying to like messages on like a Saturday or a Sunday, whichever mm. day I'm feeling. I don't mm. be just trying to hit one day off where yeah. Yeah. I ignore like, I guess, not important. Like if it's business related or like even like YouTuber friends, like I'll just ignore it for a day. Cause mm. I'm like, I just want to chill, play games, not have to worry about work or anything like that. Yeah. yeah. Just kind of, yeah, that's what I, I thought my name was laughing, but she was coughing. <laughs> like, stop, Pathetic. Stop fucking Every day is dying, business. Maylene. Yeah, I don't know. Like, and I remember they were like, oh, that's weird. I'm like, is it weird that I, don't want to be like communicated to every fucking every day. Like, I don't know. I mean, it gets tiring. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I feel weird. Am I a fucking boomer? Am I a boomer now? Shit, maybe I'm a boomer, dude. <laughs> don't like, say boomer when you're the youngest person in this room. Right? I, do, I feel like a fucking boomer when I'm looking at my, like my, the fucking phone is like, hey, here's a post you missed on Reddit. And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I've never cared about any of those posts that's recommended. Yeah, me. never. Yeah. Like, I, like, stop recommending me. I can probably. Turn I genuinely it. wonder if people, like, some people, get those notifications. Like, oh shit, I'm glad they fucking notified me. <laughs> All right, it must work because they keep doing yeah. it. Like, yeah. well, they must have a rate of success that's worth doing it. And, yeah, and fucking annoying. Me. I guess so. Yeah, I, I can probably turn it off somewhere. I just I, like, I turn it off. I just don't know. Like, I, I, I probably because it's know too how. much effort to find out how to turn <laughs> it off. Right, <laughs> right. It's like I could unsubscribe from about fifty percent of emails I get. Mm. Yeah, but it's like. Like, oh, for fuck's sake, I, I just delete it. Like, it's like a natural jerk reaction yeah, to yeah, delete, yeah. but I should probably should just unsubscribe and yeah, get rid yeah. of it, but I, I don't. I mean, it, it sounds like you do actually just need a detox from- How do I do it, Don? What if what, what if Mr. Beast is giving out a million dollars every day on Twitter when I'm I not there? I need to ratio him <laughs> to get that $10,000. What am I to do, Don? It'll be the yeah. one day where something big happens. I don't know, you just don't care for a while. You just like, <laughs> just, 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 Try not looking at your phone for an entire fucking I day. Just, I need an incentive. I can't just do that. Just man. get That's good. Hard. Just get good. If you give me a challenge, I'll be. I mean, like, easy. I mean, like, this is, this is like properly talking to like fucking addicts talk, right? Because <laughs> like, do you feel like you have a problem? Because if you don't think you have a problem, everyone then- I know has a problem. Gone. <laughs> I don't know anyone who isn't in the same situation where they're like, I love, I love my social media feed. I love logging into Instagram daily and checking the stuff. No, but, but I can't wait to check my story. You, yeah. you, have you ever heard someone say? That? But no. you've, no. you've got to understand that we are in a very unique position where this is our job. Yeah. So we never have a fucking break but, from it. But I also yeah, think- it's, it's, the, it's the equivalent to an office lady being like, oh, I can't wait to check my emails <laughs> yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No I, one I also that. think everyone's in the same position. I also think people just don't want to fucking check. Yeah, that, no, ev everyone, everyone's in the same position, but there's different severities of it. Mm, you guess. know what I mean? Like, like we have, a like, okay. We, the difference between us and like most other people is that we have a vested interest to keep up with everything because mm, it's our true. job. Like if someone misses a fucking YouTube video or fucking like YouTube drama, doesn't matter for them. Mm. For us, it's just like, it's it's the equivalent for us of, you know, being that fucking stockbroker, re reading reading the stocks every day. You know Shit, what I mean? it went down by 0.1%. Yeah, 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 that's exactly, that's well, exactly what it looking. is. That's like, that's like the equivalent of like, of like the situation for us, right? Yeah. And you gotta realize that, yeah, it's it's fucking hacking your brain. You're becoming, you're becoming dependent on it because it's also part of your job. You you, you have yeah. a vested interest to be, to keep up with everything, but it is like, yeah, if you get- it, that's the thing. It doesn't matter how much you like your job. At the end of the day, it's still your job, mm -hmm. right? So eventually, if, whether you like it or not, there's gonna be <laughs> some parts of it where you're just like, ugh. You know, like think back to when, you know, you, you first started YouTube, you first started up your Twitter account and you were like fucking excited to check if you got notifications. I mean, yeah, maybe I guess. Yeah. <laughs> like every YouTuber is like that, right? Every YouTuber who starts off and like starts to get some amount of like numbers and yeah. has a Twitter is always excited to go onto their Twitter to see if they got like a reply to something or how many people like their thing. But we've been doing it for so long now where it's just like, it's just, you know, the same okay. shit over and over again, right? Think of it this way. Do you know any other YouTuber, actual YouTuber who hits the bell notification? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm Wait, saying? On, on a YouTube channel? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do. Wait, you do? You do? Yeah. On, on, okay, which ones? Well, I don't want to miss like an internet historian video, right? Like I want to know- It's pretty fucking hard to miss. He uploads like once every yeah. three months. Yeah, but I want I want a notification on my phone when he does. So I can like, I'm like-, I'm like I want to be the first hundred views. Have you also noticed that YouTube recommendations have been kind of shit recently? No, I think they've been the opposite. Yeah. Really, you think they've been better? Yeah, yeah. Man, I, thought, I think mine have just been garbage recently. I don't Maybe because you're watching garbage content. <laughs> yeah, there, wow. I said it. I said Maybe it. Maybe it's because No you... more anime man videos for me then. <laughs> I'm done watching the anime. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no, know. I, I feel like just because you've watched so much YouTube, uh, that, true, actually, that could you be, know, yeah. that you just run out. I, you I run have, out of all the good ones. Run out of content, right? <laughs> that's true. That's uh, true. 
I mean, it's it's, it's true with like any any medium, right? Yeah. Fuck, maybe Nine- you're, fuck, maybe you're right, gone. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> my, my, my recommendance has been great because I've just been watching VTuber clips. So yeah. all of my recommendations is just VTuber clips I haven't seen. But just watch streams at that point, right? <laughs> like, I mean, I do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But sometimes I, mean, I don't want to go through a three hour stream to watch true, five true. minutes of it, right? True, I'm like, true, true. Yeah, I mean, my, my and I, I feel like the best YouTube recommendations is like, you know, you know the one video where it gets recommended and it's just like, it's just like a sub minute video that has like 5 million views. <laughs> They always end up being amazing. Like my, my favorite YouTube genres now is that a title that a title that it says that does exactly what it's uh, a video that does exactly what it says on the title. Yeah. Like I remember like I, I saw a video the other day that was like ducks annihilate a bowl of peas. I'm just like, <laughs> all right, like this this can't be right. And it's it's just a fucking two ducks just annihilating these bowls of peas. And I'm just like, this is peak YouTube content yeah, right now. That's, that's like Twitter content, right? It's like it's like Twitter <laughs> videos. <laughs> Put onto YouTube, <laughs> but in, but in terms of like YouTube recommendations, I mean, there's only a certain set of content creators that like I, I would say make content that you are very invested in and you like get mm. excited over when they upload. And you always have like, you always have that a, like boom right of like yeah. a certain type of content yeah. like inside yeah. of you. I and mean, we can talk about the YouTubers we like on next week. It's just going to be the YouTube yes. episode. Yes, Heads up for that. we're going to talk about our favorite YouTubers. It's going to be the giant shout out episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, like I, I think YouTube recommendations comes in like waves, right? Because mm. uh, you 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 like you all it takes is like one one video and you recommend it, and then you like recommend it, your recommendations are like good for like a good like few days. Cause you're like, oh, this is a new kind of like new kind of rabbit hole that I found myself in. But when, when you're in that like lull moments, when you end up watching so much YouTube, then you just, you just end up watching. You've exhausted the recommend. Yeah, exactly. Also, you right? know what sucks about uh, living in Japan is that everyone uploads while we're sleeping. So when I wake up, I already know all the videos that are gonna be uploaded during my day. Mm. From sub people I'm subscribed to, right. yeah. so I already know like the best videos when I wake up, so I can watch all the best videos in like the first hour, hour and a half, right? Yeah, right. and then I have nothing else. When right. I was living in the UK, they were like coming out gradually during my evening, right? Yeah, so yeah. it was always like, oh, this new video. It's like, oh, okay, go back. On I YouTube. mean, I've had that problem my entire life. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, not your entire. Oh, well, Australia wait. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're only one hour difference. Yeah. So. It's so weird for me because it's like, yeah. oh wait, okay, so all the videos are out in the morning and I watch it all in the morning. But that's oh, okay. what I like about it. It's that like you wake up in the morning and all the content is there for that yeah. day. But it sucks because when I'm in the middle of the day and I want to watch something, like there's nothing, no one's uploading anything. So it's like- Right. But then that's why- like, I've, I've never cared about that. Cause yeah. I've, I've always I've just- cared about that, <laughs> clearly. Cause I'm you, talking about shit. it. Shit. That means YouTube upload schedules actually matter. <laughs> Joey forgot to plug in his PC. Oh. Yeah, shit. That means YouTube upload schedules actually matter. Because I thought everyone was like me, who just like watches videos in the upload whenever. Yeah, and, and just like, oh, I'll just watch this video when it when I feel like it. I don't care no, when I it's uploaded. So. I care when it's uploaded. <laughs> Fuck. I don't I don't again, like I don't so much care when it's uploaded because for me, like my entire like idea of YouTube content for that day has always been like wake up in the morning. Like go down my sub list, be like, all right, I'm probably gonna watch this video, this yeah. video, this yeah. video. And then I, I usually just like watch it as I'm like having breakfast or getting ready for the day. And yeah. then once I've exhausted that stuff, then I'm like, all right, now I can go on with my day and actually do productive shit. Yeah. It's like out of the way now. I just can't do anything until I've watched all the good videos today. <laughs> I need my fix of sub feed. Like honestly, I don't think there's that much good content out there where I'm just, I'm just like, I need good content. Like I don't, <clears throat> there's not enough content out there that's good in my mind that can keep me entertained every day. You know mm. what I mean? There, there's like certain YouTubers where I'm like, it's a banger video and I know I'm gonna enjoy this, but most of the YouTube content you watch is just fills the time. And that's, true, that's true. just it. And it's just like, can this fill the time without me getting bored? And is, isn't it weird that like, I don't know if this is just me, but like, has it gotten to the point now where like the sub feed has just basically turned into like a timeline just to see what everyone's doing? <laughs> you know, it's like, it's kind of basically. become like a YouTube timeline of like, all right, let's see what people are doing today. True. <laughs> and it's like, you don't you don't watch 80% of the videos that are on your sub feed, but you just still sub to them because you're wondering like, all right, what, what are they up to now? Like, yeah, it's feel, weird how that's become- I feel like bad that. when I don't watch a YouTube video. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> We're all very tired today. We're all very tired. This has probably been the most tired that we've all been for a trash day's episode. Like I slept horribly, gone, went to bed at 6 a.m. And Joey's tired too. <laughs> I'm always tired. Right, but you were saying you feel bad when- 
I feel bad when I don't keep up with YouTubers, especially if I know them. I'm like, oh man, I just, I didn't watch that new video of yours. I'm sorry, man. Fuck, I'm a, I'm a bad friend. Have you, have you always done that though? With like, like- I try to keep up with friend? what my friends make. Yeah, I try and keep up just yeah. so I can like yeah. be like, oh no, man, nice, you killed it. Like if they did something really ambitious, I'd love to like, yeah. let them know, be like, hey man, you fucking killed it, bro, nice. I don't know if that's a rare thing. Because uh, my general um, understanding is like, again, it's like people just sub to you to like, you know, show support of course, but mm. also to be like, just to see what's up I, with I that person. I'm just different for every viewer. Like this one, I'm sure not everyone watches every episode of Trash Taste, right? Or right. cares about when it comes out. Like I'll get Even around you to should. it. Yeah. <laughs> you should be watching every Trash Taste episode. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, this know. this has been a very weird two hour. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the two hour therapy session between <laughs> the boys. Yeah, this has been like the least, like I feel like exciting episode. It's just, <laughs> We're all just fucking tired of shit. And we're like, what, what are we fucking it's, it's talking about? It's just basically just Addicts Anonymous. Isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, like, like, I'm addicted to this. Hello, internet. I'm addicted to the internet and you need to take a break. And Connor's just like, I don't have an issue. I don't know where you, oh, maybe I do have an issue. Oh, okay. It's like the shittiest like, Addicts Anonymous. <laughs> it's like, I don't have an issue. Therefore you don't have an issue. My league Fuck issue, you. my YouTube issue. Man, what, what's it's, next dude? It's like, do you, want, do you want me to fix your league issue? Just quit, just stop. <laughs> At least heroin is still good. <laughs> yeah. To bring some positive Positivity back into the podcast, though. Yeah, we, because we need that. Yeah. Heroin. What? Like the drug? Yeah. <laughs> well, heroin is a drug, Maylene. Yeah. I mean, that was the what joke. Other, the joke uh, is that heroin is better uh, than Confirmed, all Maylene doesn't count heroin as a drug. Like hero in, like, you know, character. No, not a hit. No, no. no. Malin's equally as tired as us, apparently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> going down a pint of cocaine. <laughs> a pint of cocaine. <laughs> but yes, to bring some positivity back into the podcast, we got spe we got sent something super special this week. Did we? I guess we did. Yeah. Bring, bring it, it out. out onto the table. On the subreddit and the Twitters. This post blew up that somebody made a, a nice little uh, quilt for us. Actually, I think it's actually quite large. It yeah. is it's large. Um, there was also a letter included yes. from Shelby, I believe. Yes. Yes. Right? Shelby from Cali. I did Cali. read it, Shelby. Yeah, we, yes. did, we did read it. We're not going to read it out on the it's podcast, quite, quite but long, uh, so. <laughs> it's, yeah. it was a uh, very we'll that boy open. We boy. read it. Though. All, right. All right. So I think uh, there's different gifts for different people. Well, I mean, I, I assume this You're, is the yeah. This is this is the main. Well, while the main you guys one. are opening that, I'll just I'll just go ahead and explain. Uh, we we don't have a PO box, and and we pro <laughs> probably won't. Um, yeah. I've had a PO box before, and although it is great receiving stuff, it's all also equally frustrating figuring out what the fuck to do with all the stuff that you get sent. And I had so much food go stale on me. So much food go bad. Yeah, I I, I feel like opening a PO box is kind of like you know op like opening your first Discord, right? It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it sounds it sounds great in theory, but then when you get to a point where you get sent too much stuff that it's manageable, yeah. Yeah. that's when it becomes like it becomes a second job, basically. I'm like super grateful that people are willing that, to send but me like, stuff. That doesn't mean we're we're not yeah. grateful. We know you guys want to send us stuff and everything like that. Um, just at this point. We just want less things to manage, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but it's like, less thing to worry about. But like when we see something cool like this, like get posted Holy on our Reddit or something, we just, we just we just want to we just want to see. Huge, Holy <laughs> fuck! Oh shit! Holy shit! That's huge! Look at that. Oh, it's the wrong way around. The wrong way around. Oh, okay. <laughs> Holy fuck! That's yeah, yeah, gargantuan. Yeah, Audio users can take that out of context if you like. Wow, yeah. that is. Audio users, what you're looking at what? right now is just a giant fucking trash <laughs> taste quilt. Oh my God, that's actually amazing. What that's, the fuck? Really cool. Shelby, what the fuck? But thank you, Shelby, Yay. so much. Thank you, Shelby. Oh my thank God. Thank you so much. Holy shit, shout out to Shelby. There's what like an MVP. two other gifts here as well. I don't key know. rings, I believe they were oh, from they? Shelby's message. Yeah. Should we open them as well? Yes, yeah, so yeah. the key rings are uh, for Maylene, you and I. Mm -hmm. There is a, a, a key ring for Maylene, which is the pink one, a silver one for me, Green oh. one for gone I'd and a blue one for Joey. I'd say here it says J, G, oh. C, and M. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's your C. Fantastic. So, Hell yeah. Wow. You're too nice, Shelby. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for Thank watching very this much, episode Shelby. of Trash Taste, by the way. Um, we're winding down now. Uh, oh, it's an Among oh. Us thing. Is it really? Oh, see? oh. it's got my it's got my little uh, cat face. Shit, on. she she's got both the ducky macros I I own oh, in Thailand and the glasses. <laughs> and the glasses. Oh wow, yeah, I have the rose. That's so cool. What the fuck? Oh that's, my god, this is amazing. Can, can, I, can, I, can I open yours, mainly? <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Holy Shelby. Shit. That's so fucking cool. You it's got my rose. God damn, some people are too nice, man. Yeah. So this, this is obviously this is honestly one of the coolest. Oh, Maylene's is pink with like cat ears. <laughs> Really loves cats, by the yeah, way. Really. <laughs> so yes, if you have enjoyed this episode of Trash Taste, please let us know your thoughts and what kind of stuff you want to see us do yes. in Trash Taste. We want to evolve it more and keep doing interesting stuff. Yes. What's that? 
I'm opening it to find out. All right. Yeah, I hope hope you oh, hope you've enjoyed sitting in on this two hour therapy therapy session. Maybe <laughs> maybe you, d- you discovered something about yourself as well. Hearing us talk about our oh, addiction mask. on the internet. Oh, okay. the cat is probably cat mine. Face mask. Cat, oh, cat face Maylene. mask. Or Maylene. No, I think it's Maylene. Oh, these are JoJo yeah. masks. Oh. Oh, nice. That's awesome. <laughs> Killer, Killer yes. Queen. Oh, Dio, you're approaching me. <laughs> and Bruno Bucciarati. Okay, wow. That's sick. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank Holy you shit. so much, Shelby. Thank you, Shelby. Thank you, Shelby. You're an MVP. But, but also, we want to thank our Patreons on screen right now. Yeah, you yes. guys help us support the show and make it even better. I love all these people, and I'm sure thank the yes. other boys do as well. But if you'd like to support us as well on the Patreon, then make sure to go to patreon.com slash trash taste. Also, if, again, follow us on the Twitter and subreddit. And also, don't ask us if we have a PO box. Yes, <laughs> we don't. <laughs> Because <laughs> I know there's going to be comments. The moment people see the quilt, they're going to be like, yeah. I want to send something. So, uh, just, I mean, yeah. we appreciate it. We, yeah. we, we, we appreciate it. Well, well, we appreciate the sentiment. We'll yeah. take the sentiment. We, we appreciate the sentiment. Yeah. Yes, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the therapy session, I guess. All right. Well, I guess we've been trash taste. Thank you to everyone again. I, I'm just very so grateful. People are here willing to come and listen to us talk. And, ah, we'll, we'll, we'll be happier next week. I swear to God. Yeah, this is why I'm just fucking depressed. I'm joking. I'm we we, for, we forgot to down a pint of cocaine. I'm so tired. I'm so, so tired. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.